Okay, give me a second to adjust my headset. Okay. Well, well, I doubt that chapter seven will be the final stream for this series. Series, but knowing my luck, it probably won't be. Anywho, today, in today's stream of Have Violet Starcraft. Uh, I'm going to be continuing the Dark Heart of Skyrim storyline, so, the, just so we know, just so we're aware, that was 2020 storyline where, with vampires, werewolves, and other undead things. Currently we were, it's primarily centered around Skyrim, mainly Western Skyrim, so, s Solitude and Mark, what was it other? Markarth being the major cities and Morthal. Basically the nostalgia little thing about this world storyline. In this stream, I'm gonna try to finish up the Dark Heart storyline, hopefully. However, knowing my luck and how long these quests tend to go for, and how bad I am not I'm not exactly the best narrator per se, or reader. There's, it says six quests in total, but there's really three more quests after this six that it serves as like an epilogue for the game, really, or the epilogue for the story. It, it has been done. Yeah. Also, uh, dear. Hopefully I'm not too exhausted. I, I mean, I was able to get a good night's sleep. But also, I'm also really exhausted too because ha 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 consequences of my actions. So, my main focus will be. Well, the Reach's main storyline. And or. Not and or, it just and whatever else catches my fancy. So that can include dailies and whatever else. <laughs> Dude. Hopefully I'll be fine to go for a while, cause stomach, woohoo. Okay. Anywho. Th this should be a more laid down, laid back stream, like, calm, I guess. <laughs> a lot more tame, I hope, for me. Pleased to see you in solitude, stranger. And Elder Scrolls Online is my go-to game to stream. I I prefer streaming this game more since I don't know. I I, I grew to love it despite its, all its problems. Oh, also because of the worst update, uh, update 33 with account wide achievements, I have to make a slight change to the major storylines and whatever else I do in this game because delves are done for me. Certain things are done for me, even though I've never done them with this character. Fun. And I, and I really gotta make a list. Actually, I can make a comic while loading. Uh, we were here last time. I think we were here. Oh, excuse me. So... Yeah. Anywho. Oh dear. Oh dear. Also, I really hope the controller lasts a while. But knowing me and how bad the controller charger is. I, I do kind of want to talk about what I would have done better. You know what? While I'm here, before I actually get in... Oh, I'm actually in the zone, so it doesn't matter. Uh, let's go here. Achievements. This is what I would have done. Character achievements. Instead of this being, like, character-bound, based off whoever does it, it's... Or, account-wide, it's character-wide. So, it's like... I, this character, this character will have to do this stuff. All this will have to be this character in particular. Not 
account base. Why? Why was this a thing? Same deal for literally everything under the character tab should have been a character bound. Not not this dumb. Oh hey, here's account wide. We don't want our players to feel like they're missing out on stuff. Like again, devs, why? That's a dumb decision. <sighs> I anyway anywho. Literally everything here should have been character bound. Not based off if my main did it or some random character I have done it. Because you're going to see one name, that one name, earned by VR, I'm going to call him. Because <laughs> even, even myself, I, I struggle saying my own character's names. Oh, believe me, one character is a complete joke and a nightmare to say. Anywho, yeah, characters should have been character only. Like, it even says, like, it even says there's certain types of achievements. And I'm going on this rant real quick. Obviously, every stream of Elder Scrolls Online, I'm going to do this. I know that this is not going to make a difference or whatever, but <laughs> let me do this. It should have been character achievements, not account achievements. So, character should have been character ba achievements. Crafting, eh, not so pressed on it, but I think this would have should have been. I think this should have been character bound, not account wide. I honestly believe that stuff like traits, so, uh, stuff like style, like crafting styles and whatever, that should have been character bound. Character achievements, not account achievements because how am I gonna know it's like oh hey I know how to craft celestial style daggers and everything with my this one character who doesn't even do crafting oh wait I don't that's misleading that's that's kind of a bad achievement for account wide uh, this stuff ah fine whatever I don't really care this, obviously I've never reached it, so obviously this should have been character. Like, bound. Like, I honestly think when it comes to this game, account-wide achievements should have been handled better. Not the way it was. Crafting should have been, like, it depends, really. So, oh, don't, also, again, I'm, I, I'll probably do a comic about this later. But I do want to talk about this again because obviously this entire system, this new system, completely fucked me over with Doves and Dragons as a whole. And, no, oh, but it's no big deal. I wish everyone a bad day for complaining about account-wide achievements. Again, I'm more annoyed by it. I'm not thinking like it's one of the worst things ever. Yet. Actually, yeah, I think it's kind of a sucky thing, really. Because I, I like to feel like I earned something. Obviously, this I continue to re I continue my no veteran dungeon score at all, or any DLC things. Dungeons, mm, I'm more lenient toward unless I'm more lenient toward this because, well, I doubt I'll ever revisit a dungeon with a certain character. Like, why is this stuff only... Why why isn't, like, these achievements character achievements? And yet, the actual du group dungeon for group... This is all public dungeons. I'm just so confused. I'm confused right now. Sorry. I, I'm just going to rant, so... If you want to skip a rant, uh... I'll probably ca talk about this. Covering all the achievements real quick. Inspiration... This is the more, this is the more insulting of them all. I think, I honestly believe this should have been character achievements. I honestly wished 
literally all of these achievements for exploration were character bound. I honestly think that. Some might think otherwise, but I honestly think exploration. Ah, eh, maybe, maybe not so much of fishing. <laughs> Just fishing in this game is hell. <laughs> Especially in Sierra Del. <laughs> Especially in Sierra Del, for sure. Uh, quest. Another thing that should have been character bound, because character achievements, so. Like, uh. Like, how am I going to track how many quests I've done with this character? Like, I. Oh! So that's an. That is actually. Oh! Oh. Oh, even this! The actual story for the game. I already got those. I, I guess I can't do the main story anymore. Because I already did it all already, according to the game. Look. Oh my god. Look, I. I am. I'll continue the story in a moment. I just want to get this out of the way. I'll probably write this all down in the comic I want to do. I, I, I've been doing comics lately. Mainly just stuff that kind of be ranty and whatnot. Oh, happy. Also, Happy 420. <laughs> I, I totally forgot about Happy 420. <laughs> yes, Happy 420. I'm literally talking about the problems with this game. <laughs> Ah oh dear. Housing. Eh, I think that could have been just. I think this is fine. <gasps> Though I do miss getting all these achievements randomly with every character I boot up. <laughs> it was always hilarious when it happened. Uh, holiday events. Character bound. Not account wide. Maybe other way around. Anywho, enough ranting for once. Also, hi, happy 420 day. Totally forgot about that. <laughs> I, I should mention that I don't actually do the weed. Even if... I, hold on, is it actually legal where I am? Uh, it's probably legal. I mean, isn't San Francisco or, like, the weed capital? Or something? Weed... Capital of the U.S. No, it's somewhere in Den Denver. No, it's Denver, but in California. Really? Wow. Wow. Y now that I know that. Is. Is. Alright, is weed legal in California? Yeah, California. California became the first state to allow medical cannabis use when others pass a uh, whatever act of 1996. For both medical. Okay, so it is legal here in California. However, I, I'm not exact. I I don't know. Which is funny because there was a weed shop in San Francisco, if I remember correctly. I wonder if it's open still. <laughs> ah, it's years ago. Anywho. Ah. Anywho. I if you made it through that hell, that was me ranting about my problems with uh, account-wide achievements. I don't know if it's picking up, but you deserve a clap. Or whatever. A clap. A pat on the bat or something. <laughs> Just seriously. Account wide achievements. Despite how bad they were, uh, they do have some good merit to them. It's just I wish they would have done this over that. Anywho. Oh, also, um, in case you don't know the main characters. We're working with vampires, a vampire, and a, this particular vampire character, 
is voiced by a particular actor. And it's hard to tell, but I don't even know how to give them. Count Miranda's. Count Miranda's. Raven Watch himself. Yo. I'll let you pay attention to his voice and I'll say who his VA is. Because obviously, we're going to be experiencing. Be with them. Uh oh. Game. Uh, do I have food? I have food. Ow. Uh, his VA is a particular person. Maybe you picked it up? I, I, I really hope you can hear the NPC, Todd. Uh, I'll be quiet during this dialogue stuff. This is where Rada and Lady Belaine entered the structure, but I can't find any way to open the doors. I suspect this may be why they needed the keystone. So how do we follow them without a keystone of our own? Ah, good question. Let's look around. Not all of the ruin remains intact. Portions have crumbled over the ages. Perhaps we can find a path through the rubble. Just be cautious. I've seen both constructs and shadowy creatures prowling this ruin. Constructs and shadowy, shadowy creatures? I killed a construct. The constructs are dwarven and expected. The shadows... Some sort of beings made of inky darkness, Ugh, quite unsettling, but potentially dangerous. Something unusual has taken hold of this place. Any idea what this place might have been? I wish I could say for certain. I've done precious little reading on dwarven ruins. I do seem to recall the name Arkzand being connected to a university, a library. This place does have a sort of academic look to it, don't you think? The shadow beings you mentioned, do you think they're dwarves? I've seen nothing dwarven in their manner or appearance. Dwarves were meticulous scholars, their constructs, their architecture. Everything was precise and controlled. These shades are like wild animals. Hmm. Whatever spawned them may not be dwarven at all. Arana sent something down here. She called it a darkness. Reach magic strikes me as wild and unpredictable. Arana clearly shares oh, Rana. a strong okay, connection with the ebb and flow of the spirits, though. She might have sensed these creatures, but I suspect something else caused her distress. Something else? The source of these shadow beings, these shades. I sense a corruption, a void. The longer I'm close to it, the more I suspect it may be the very thing that drew Rodder and Lady Belaine here in the first place. Stay alert, my friend. Now, if you couldn't even tell by the voice, by the voice actor's voice, which I, I, I honestly think it's easy to pinpoint who this, who VA is. It's a particularly, it's the, the voice is actor is. That's blocked. That strange wait. energy. Wait, is there something on the floor? That parchment appears relatively fresh and intact. What does it oh. say? It's written by a grey horse, Pentrock. Apparently this was... This is the library... Uh, I, I'm not going to even pretend this is a good pronunciation. Arthazan... Okay, I give up. The library of Arthazan. Arthazan. <laughs> I assume a dwarven library houses more than simply books. Anything else of pertinence written there? It suggests that Lady Belaine wants to awaken some sort of dark relic. A dark relic? Mm, that sounds ominous. And quite likely related to the darkness that Arana sensed, and I now feel as well. That could be the source of these shades. Anything else? It mentions void portals. Strange energy pockets that can be harnessed to travel so short distances. Void portals. A dark relic resonating power and strange shades. We can't let any of this fall into Rada and Lady Belaine's hands. Let's see what we can find on the other side of this structure. Alright, I keep looking. Uh, Count Veranda's Raven Watch is voiced by John Scott. Also known as. I. 
I I feel like he's famous for anything a lot of other stuff like Beast Stars and some other stuff, but I only I, I he this character had a different VA back in the day. But during the Dark Heart and I believe nowadays even in uh, Riven Spire, where this character was first introduced. He had a different VA. But yeah. Count Verandas, Raven Watches, John Scott, also known as maybe Lagoshi and Such some other characters. <laughs> and not the oh, slow dear. decay of time. Something terrible happened here. That's a strange looking shard. Void shard. Oh. Another note. The strange shard. <laughs> what do you think, my friend? The note says uh, Pantrock figured out how to use the void portals. It mentions shards like this. Interesting. The shards remind me of something torn from the darkest corner of oblivion. As unsettling as that object is, I think we should hold on to it. Especially if we can use it to navigate the void portals. The note says that the Pentarch was pulled through the portals by one of these shards. I suggest you try to use a shard to propel yourself through one of the void portals. The risks are significant, but if we can turn these strange pockets of energy to our advantage, we have to attempt it. Okay. What? Well done, my friend. <laughs> I, I love the compliment. From <laughs> good, good job, my friend. <laughs> Up there, try concentrating on that pocket of energy. Oh dear, I, I wonder if this is comfortable or what. Ooh, water. Which, by the way, this is a threat to hydrate. I. Also, this library is also really cool. I think. I I remember I remember this being actually kind of cool. Ah, maybe my memory. This is impressive. Impressive, really. There we are. <laughs> this place. Oh. I had no idea. I knew the dwarves created some magnificent structures, but this is amazing. Uh. And look, more of those void portals in the higher portions of this. The only word that comes to mind is cathedral. Why are there so many void portals? In and around the library. Until we find the source, I can only speculate. We need to locate it, learn more about this energy, and determine the true nature of these shades. If Rada and Lady Belain can harness this dark energy, I hate to imagine what they could accomplish. What do you think they want with this dark energy? The longer I spend in close proximity, the more I pick up from the shades. I sense fragmented thoughts and raw emotion. They remind me of pure rage and unbridled pain. Perhaps exploring the library will yield some answers. All right. Well, I guess we're gonna be here for a little while, exploring this library of some sort. Now. Can I go over there? Can't really read the books now, can I? Fight my these shades. Oh my goodness. I I love exploring in this game sometimes. Now nah, I like to explore. So, man, this place is huge. I know it's a library, but damn, it's huge. No! 
Also, this character is a werewolf, by the way. Just... Actually, didn't I roll all uh, a die for this? Um, D twenty. D twenty. All right. All right. So everything higher than a ten with a D twenty die. That is just my normal alt with the staff. Anything lower, since werewolf is a, being a werewolf is a crime in this universe. Kind of rude if you ask me. I kind of forgot about that whole bit. Anywho, uh, because being a werewolf, werewolf is a crime in this universe. Kind of rude if you ask me. I have to, well, roll. Okay, so anything lower than a D, anything lower than a D, a D twenty. Ah, look, everything higher than a ten. That's whatever alt this character has. So. Shit. I sense this. the presence of every dark corner. And Keep anything going. lower than a 10 is werewolf. When it eventually decides to build up. Though the ultimate itself lets take sweet time to build up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think it's fair. Or I can just go for whatever I feel like. Or I can go for whatever I'm in a mood for, so... Actually... Uh... I, I feel like it'd be like per loading screen or whatever. So, since building the ultimate with the lunge attack I did, it's too easy. I think every time I see a loading screen or something, or I open a door, that's where I switch up my ultimate. So I can use any of my weapons. I can continue using the weapons that I have. Also, speaking of weapons, uh, I have a, I have this I could use. Okay. All right. Unless it's a boss, then I'm just gonna go for whatever it is I'm good for. Yeah. Every time I have a boss, every time I face a boss, that is, I. God damn the wind! I swear to God. Maybe open the door was not such a good idea after all. Sorry, I didn't open the door. The wind did. Why? 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 Ah, oh, God. Oh dear. Oh dear. It's all good. We're all good. By the way, I believe in this next area I'm gonna transform. Not this path one. ends here. There's a door up above. We need okay. to find a way to reach it. Also, With the path ahead blocked, our only option appears to be the door above us. However, I sense something on the other side. I smell oil. I hear the whine of ancient gears. Proceed with caution, my friend. Do you think I could use the void portals to reach the door? Mm, an excellent idea. You might have to get creative to reach the very top. But do you sense some sort of danger beyond that door? Danger? but it seems related to this dwarven structure and not the dark energy we're tracking. I doubt it's anything we can't handle. Just be careful as you traverse the portal. Mm. A fall from those heights could prove deadly, even for you. Okay, so a void portal. This is the only void portal I can see, but unless... Oh! Sorry. 
Okay, so I have to reach that door somehow. Okay. Oh, I see something over there. I, I, oh, I didn't mean to talk to you, but you know what? Sure, why not? With the path ahead. Okay. Uh, how do I? Okay, so there's a void portal somewhere. Actually, could I? If I get up here, it's not blocking me going this way. Okay, so... Okay, so I see something over there. Ow. There is a portal, I think, over there, but I think it wants me to go over here. Yeah, there we go. Alright. There appears to be some sort of containment apparatus. And there's a shade trapped at the center. Oh dear. Right. I'm not good with names, right. so. Bring it here. Might that be another observation by the Grey Host Pentar? Pentar. What Pentar. secrets does it reveal this time? The apparatus somehow focuses the void energy. I think he tried to use it to stabilize a breach. Of course. Despite all the knowledge he gained, he made a mistake. That trapped shade. That's the Grey Host Pentarch. Oh. We should attempt to free him, if not out of mercy, then to determine what he knows about the dark energy and its source. The notes suggest that the void crystals can be rotated to focus the energy. Very well. Manipulate the crystals and see if you can set the tortured shade free. Just exercise caution, my friend. I would hate to see you trapped within the apparatus alongside the Grey Host Pentarch. Hmm. Well, welcome to me trying to figure out a puzzle. That's it. Keep repositioning the crystals to reflect the energy. Oh, so it wants me to go over here. Oh, so it's over here, okay. I I'm really bad at puzzles in this game. Okay, so I have to get it over there. If only this is making a difference. Okay, so it wants me to go... Okay, so I have two sources of a beam I could go for. Um, I, I want to see if I can, can't get it over, up, over there. Can't I just rotate it the way I I can see it? Let me guess. Wait. Could this work?
Okay, so it wants it over there. But wait, I have to get it to hit that beam over there. That's weird. It wants me to hit that other beam. But I don't think this is working. Hell, I don't even think it's gonna reach it over there. What if I try to aim it? Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. That did it. Quickly now, question the shade before it dissipates. Hello. Me about the darkness. The darkness is a place. A prison. But more than that. What was once a sleep now stirs. And it's hungry. So very, very hungry. This darkness. Is it what Rada Asaran and Lady Belaine seek? Stars and spheres? Where can I find Lady Belaine? She goes to where the brass worlds be. Inside the globe of horrors. Can you hear it? The beating. Walk between the shadows. I see it in your eyes. You will follow as I have fallen. Drag down into the darkness. Goodness. Such anguish, such pain. Souls trapped in Molag Ball's realm wither over centuries, but this dark heart, it stripped that creature of its vitality almost instantly. I wish it had told us more. It could have been more coherent. We, we know that Rada Saran and Lady Belaine are seeking something called the Dark Heart. Yes, but apparently for different purposes. Unstable breaches in the fabric of reality, imploded chambers, trapped shades. Everything points to some terrible dwarven experiment that went astray. This dark energy is clearly powerful and dangerous. What could Radhasaran and Lady Belaine want with something like that? As the shade implied, they each seek the dark heart for a different reason. I can only imagine what Rodder would do with such power. As for Belaine, he called her the vessel that never fills. A curious description. Regardless, we must find them. Does beneath stars and spheres mean anything to you? It must have something to do with the sky above. Perhaps constellations such as those that led us to Badarzel. In any event, it's evident that the dark current flowing through this place traps souls and twists them into these shades. The shade made it sound sound as the dark heart was is alive. Perhaps it does possess life of a sort. Certainly it holds a vast amount of power. Power enough that we can't allow Rada or Lady Belaine to get their hands on it. Come my friend, let's continue our hunt. Uh Tom goodness. Alright. Okay, now 
we just gotta get out of here. Now we just gotta get out of here and hope for the best. Watch for signs of the Grey Host that should point us oh. toward Rada and Belain. Uh, watch, watch for signs of Grey Host. Okay, so we are, my headset glitched. And I don't know if that glitched on the stream end. And so I rolled a 10, which is werewolf time. When it loads, of course. When it's time, of course. So. Of course, werewolf takes a while to build up. Werewolf likes to take its sweet time to build up and be ready to use. I have a daily weekly endeavor. Oh my goodness, 250. That could be possible. I mean... It's not that hard to use Dragonite, I don't think. Mm. What's over here? A way out? Sure. Oh dear. Listen in. The Ori of Arkzand. The key to our salvation. It has stood here unmoving for nearly 3,000 years. You're sure the keystone will power it, Belaine? It must be ready when the time comes. The keystone is only part of the puzzle. As you agreed, we must also awaken the Dark Heart. I gave you my word, Belaine. The Grey Host will make your prophecy come true. Mm. Reach which signs and portents can be tiresome. But they are necessary for this. The Dark Heart must beat again. And it will, Belaine. Soon. With the Keystone, we can come and go as we please. Now, let us leave this place. We still have much to do before we restart the Orrery. Reach which prophecies? Oh, what oh. fates are you tempting now, Rudder? As we speculated, the Keystone does more than open doors. Rudder and Lady Belaine plan to use it to restart the Orrery. The question remains, why? And what role does this dark heart play in their schemes? She mentioned reach which prophecies? Do you know what she's talking about? I'm not sure. We know the Grey Host has Reach Witches among its ranks. Perhaps a local coven has some role in all this. We need to speak with Arana. To learn about Reach Witch prophecies, we might as well go to an expert. Should we go after Arana, Asaran, and Lady Belaine? Without the Keystone or more of those Void Portals, we can't get down into the Orrery Chamber. I'll stay here and try to pick up their trail. I need you to go to Rebels Retreat and see what you can learn from Arana. Alright. Okay, so, no fighting then. But I can loot something, just so I can get something for my troubles.
Wait, could I still use that portal? I could, and I should. Another time. Ah, I didn't really use Werewolf this quest. I was hoping to. Oh well. It's not a big deal. You know, I felt like playing more Overwatch, but also I was like, no, I got my schedule ahead of me. So the schedule ahead is just... Tomorrow's stream is probably going to be a nostalgic game for me on my PS4. Uh, I hope it still has a player base. Because if it doesn't, then oof. <laughs> what what can I do? Probably not much. Oh. <laughs> Wait, I can use this uh, to use my way. I can maybe use this to my advantage. <laughs> Apparently I have to do some... but hop... Well, I have to do something. Oh, never mind. I already did this. Thank you, account wide achievements. I very much love you. No, oh, I fucking hate account wide achievements. Know that. And thank you, account wide achievements. I was really hoping to do that. But apparently not. I'm very actually I'm very curious what people other people are saying about account wide achievements in this game. But obviously I don't like it. Hold on. Oh dear. It's not popular. What?
Mina's following grows by the day, and now they're mining silver. What's the witch up to? So, she plunders the land while we cower behind the armed walls. No, not her way. Something to do with magic, more like. Fuck, yeah, fuck account wide achievements. Yeah, that's that's what I have to say. Fuck account wide achievements. Ah, oh, God. You approach with purpose, Wanderer. Her scene has sent you to me for a reason, it would seem. My apprentices should return shortly. I sent them to retrieve the sacred relics needed to dedicate this shrine. Until then, what can I do for you? I recover this relic near this person's body. Guarina's dead. I feared it was so when she did not answer my summons. But I prayed I was wrong. Her scene will guide her to the hunting grounds, and she will find her place. You say you recover the relic, the symbol of Rockybeg, I hope. I found this simple totem of claws and veins. Aye, that is the relic, simple though it may appear. Rockybeg is but one aspect of her scene, known also as the Mighty Bear. Will you give me the relic so I may add it to this shrine? That would be a fitting tribute to my lost apprentice. Here, place the relic. Place the relic in this shrine. And I thank you for that, Wanderer. Apprentice Guerina would be pleased to know it made it here. The symbol of Rockybeg will forever be a part of this shrine, helping to create a proper sanctuary. Here, I can't let you leave without a proper reward. May the Hunt Father go. Alright. <laughs> I, I guess most of this stream is just me dunking on account wide achievements. the land while we cower behind the armed walls. No, not her way. Something to do with magic, more like. Aye, the moon kiss door has it used What do you want? By her ball.
Oh dear. So I'm just taking my time to read stuff, so Okay, so you know what? Instead of just... You know what? Hold on. I'm going to take a quick note. By quick, I mean like five minutes. <laughs> okay, I finished a quest. Qu the Tech Problems comic. Uh, I have another comic in the words. Uh, Countwide Achievements and Elder Scrolls Online. So... And maybe I'll use this character. Nah, I'm not gonna use this character. Rinse and yes. Oh. Okay. So obviously, since it's a comic, I'm gonna have to write down. All right. So <laughs> again, so sorry. I'm gonna take a little moment just to note down a comic idea on stream. So here's on a AWA or wide achievements in Elder Scrolls Online. <laughs> yeah, here here I go. Making a possible comic coming very soon. And talking about it in a drawing, just so I can have something that exists for it. Also, it can't be the upcoming comic because I feel like this is perfect for like a frame. The comic I have planned is like five frames. I don't know why five frames, but yeah, here we, there we go. I, I'm gonna have to do something different with it. Oh, it won't be ain't. Oh well. Okay, uh... This was a line. I don't like it. That... Much. And... And here's... Here's my thoughts to make sure. Oh. Yeah. Alright, so let me just note down what I've said so far. Achieve. Wait, did my personality fail? No, it's still working, it's just giving me a problem right now. Oh dear, this game, I swear to god. You so, why? Alright, so I have like the basic personality. 
Yeah, I have a base personality. I feel like it can be fixed with just going. Okay, where's my personalities? Put away and there we go. That fits it. Really fun. Love it. Thank you. Love them that butts out. Okay, so I was writing down stuff about the account where achievements. Uh, okay, so character. Um, I, I'm not gonna include everything, like just because there's so much categories in this game. Player versus player. Uh, crafting. Crafting. Uh, dungeons. Dungeons. Uh, exploration. Now this is... Explore. Explorations. Explorations. Uh, quest. Quest. Uh, Housing. Holiday events. <laughs> wow, I'm making a comic live on stream. I oh, know, I'm just getting some ideas for a comic out for you. <sighs> Prologue. Everything else will pr be... Prologue. And then there's all the expansions. All the expansions. Alright. Okay, so just to go over this stuff. Um, okay, so. Okay, so. Okay. Fair. Uh, hmm. character, character wide. Okay, so so far, character achievements. Uh, obviously, character achievements only. So, since it is character bound, so that should have only been character bound. Player versus player. Range should be character. Okay, so this is gonna be a hot take. I honestly think player. Only Alliance War ranks should be character character bound. So this character is currently Tyro? Right Tyro? Two? Grade two. But if we check out account wide achievements Darn player player versus player. Uh I have the highest rank with... I, I, I think my Kajit character has it. I forgot what was her rank. Almost a lieutenant. Okay, so. What is the highest rank? First sergeant, I think. That's what I have. So, obviously, I think uh, these ranks stuff, where you can get titles, this should be a character bound. All the, all these should be character bound. Character achievements. Even, eh, maybe not so much emperor. As eh, screwed emperor. Why not? That should be character bound. Uh, anything else? Battlegrounds? Eh, why not? Obviously, because it's always. Death match these days. 
That should be it. Wrench should be. All right, crafting. I honestly think styles. Okay, so styles and traits. Okay, so styles. What did I say? Also, styles and I, I guess rights. Styles and rights. Okay, that's out of the way. All right, dungeons. Okay, dungeons. Uh. Okay, so. This is what I think. Okay, so. Okay, so. What was it? Con Conqueror. At Conqueror and Conqueror and Vanquisher. Uh, should be character bound. Bound as well. Alright, so far. So far, this is what I have. Character achievements? Character bound, obviously. It's characters. Uh, player versus player? Uh, ranks, uh, ranks should be character achievements. Crafting? Crafting styles and ranks? Whatever you rank up with. Should be character achievements. Uh, dungeons. So, this entire tab right here. This should be Conqueror and Vanquisher achievements. Black words. Should be character bound as well. And now, the most controversial, but probably more popular Exploration. Eh, fishing is fine, whatever, it doesn't matter. So, everything but fishing should be character bound. I know that doesn't seem popular, but hey, I like the sense of exploration. I like to explore in this game. I was like, right. Oh, fishing, a fishing character. I mean, that adds a sense of exploration. So, from these achievements, all the way down to, uh... Oh, by the way, I will resume the story in a moment. I am just doing... I, I completely got sidetracked with this, so... You know what? Screw it. So, all the way to this quest. That should be... That should have been... Character achievements. Alright, questing. Oh, boy. Question tab. Honestly? Honestly, I think the whole tab should be. Character achievements. Character achievements only. Tracks. Characters. through the story. Story and all of that fun stuff. Alright, so I honestly think this should evolve in character achievements. Alright, housing? That doesn't matter. Fine with the white A. Okay, so you know, I'm honestly fine with account wide achievements for housing. Uh, holiday events? Mm. 
You know what? I'll save that for later. I I have what I have so far. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not gonna work on that comic right away. I wanna take my time with it. Anywho, uh, hold on. I gotta repair my gear. You look like. What do I have to sell? Oh, I have candles and whatever. Completely forgot I had that in my inventory. Anywho. Keep at it. Put that silver we acquired to good use, you lazy goat herders. Hello. I wondered if you were going to return, Harrier. The worms and ghosts wouldn't stop whispering to me, talking about dark doings and stirring evil. But they were deadly silent about you. Did you catch up to Lady Belaine? Sort of, but she got away. She's trying to awaken someone ca she called the Dark Heart. The Dark Heart, you say? There's a tale as old as the Ridge with an evil heart at its center. Like most Ridge stories, it ends bloody. Belaine might have slipped your net, but we know what she's on about. Thanks to you, this hunt isn't over yet. The story of the Dark Heart. The Ghost Song clan knows it well. My clan. Once. I need to speak with my sister, Nathari. She studied the old secrets. Knows about prophecies both ill and fair. If anyone can glean the mind of Lady Belaine, it's her. Old secrets? Traditions passed down from our foremothers. Like the story of the prophecy of the Dark Heart. It deals with souls, shadows, endings. I know the core of it, but Nathari understands the nuances. Uh. Unfortunately, we haven't spoken in a long, long time. What Nathari taught to me? An outsider. Not likely. We need someone to intercede on our behalf. We need Brayden. Brayden. He's a friend, and he holds the respect of the clan. If he vouches for you, Nathari might talk to you. He often visits Rolden Ring to trade news. Meet me there. I'll meet you and Brayden at Holden Ring. Brayden can speak to the mood of the Ghost Song clan. Tell him what you told me. I'm sure he'll help us get a meeting with my sister. He's a werewolf, mind you. But I've never had a truer friend. Look for him at Holden oh, Ring. Oh dear. <laughs> I'll meet you there. <laughs> What's Holden? Hold on. Whatever ring. Holden Ring is an ancient site southeast of here. It's neutral ground, a place where all clans of the Ridge can gather to trade and share stories. Brayden visits the place a lot. He loves to chatter with other clans. Your friend Brayden is a werewolf? Can we trust him? And your friend is a vampire. Werewolves are Hercene's children. I, I thought she would have spelled the short dialogue because skin I'm changers. Brayden and the other werewolves are nothing like those grey host ravagers. They're the clan's loyal protectors. I, I thought she'd say, but you're a werewolf too. Fair point. I'm a werewolf. What what will they think of me? I I know her scene's gift when I see it. There are two kinds of werewolves. Those who master their gift, and those who are slaves to it. I can tell which you are. In the Rage, we judge you on what you do, not what you are. Mostly. Why don't you and your sister talk anymore? Years ago, we argued about what the Spirit Queen's teachings meant for our clan. Nathari mm. believes that we're meant to return to the old ways, the dark ways, to seek Namira's favor. I believe those days are better left behind us. So you left for your song, clan? More like the clan left me. My sister turned them against me. As the days grew darker, Ghost Song Witch has found it easier to see things her way than mine. Regardless, my people will always be my people. Alright. Alright. Let's do this. I guess. I mean, we have a lot, a lot of progression to do. Anywho. Oh dear. I'm just one of those mellow days, I guess. 
a very long and I guess hopefully wrapping up storyline. To one of the you know it's funny. Uh, a lot of people say that this story kind of it's not the best. Like in terms of expansion, this is probably a type of expansion. I I can see what people are saying about that. And see why sometimes. I I think I'm gonna mainly focus on the story for a while, like the actual story. Anything else would just be a side little story. Or probably either next quest, hopefully. Or whatever. Raiden, what news of the Ghost Song clan? Your sister led the clan to Lost Valley. I was about oh to goodness. join them. Who's the outsider? An ally against the Grey Host. I'll let them tell you themselves. An outsider walking alongside the great and powerful Arana. That's not a sight I thought I'd see today. And she says you're an ally. Mm -hmm. Tell me, outsider. Why do you care what happens to the Reach? I'm trying to stop Grey Host. We need to talk about... Our... We need to talk to Arana's sister. An outsider come to fight outsiders. I wish you hadn't brought your war here in the first place. Speaking with Nathari is going to be difficult, <laughs> even if she would agree to such a meeting. Oh my goodness. She's taken the clan to Lost Valley, I doubt. The Lost Valley? That's just what the Reach folk call it. It isn't actually lost. We know exactly where it is. It's a sacred place from a darker time. Nathari said the time had come to return to Lost Valley. Promised the clan a great revelation. What kind of revelation? I'm not sure, but I'm no witch. Some of our rituals aren't meant to be shared with outsiders, I'll tell you that much. Still, uh, if Arana says it's important for you to speak to her sister, I believe her. I'll vouch for you, outsider. Oh, okay. Uh, Arana said you two, you speak good friends. Yes. We grew up together in the Ghost Song clan. I was furious when the clan banished her. I almost followed, but I couldn't. The clan needs my protection, especially now against the Grey Host. Tell me more about the Lost Valley. Tell me more about Lost Valley. As I said, the place is sacred to us. The Nords built a great barrow there. But long before that, Lost Valley was a place dedicated to dark worship. Dark worship? Not all Reach Folk practices involve blood and sacrifice, but many of our oldest traditions do. Lost Valley was a center for such activity once upon a time. Oh, don't worry. You're helping Arana. I won't offer your heart to Namira. Not today. Oh dear. Oh dear. I'm off to Lost Valley. If you want to find your sister, that's where she'll be. Why Lost Valley, Nathari? What are you planning, my sister? I wonder what's going on. I really hope that because of this account wide achievement stuff, it doesn't ruin like a kind of moment with a certain character. I, I've been reading about it.
Oh, that doesn't seem... Wait, that's not that. Oh, it was over here. Oh, over here is a delve, I believe. Ah, forgive me, I'm a little bit slow today. It's a bit of a slow day, after all. This grey horse scout has been pulled to pieces. Raiden's work, I presume. What? Raiden must have gotten here ahead of us. Hmm. I'd recognize his handiwork anywhere. It seems that the redoubt is overrun with grey horse troops. We'll need to get past them to reach the old ritual site. Where is the ritual site? The Nords built their barrow over the caves that were once used by my ancestors. The Spirit Queen led the first Ghost Song Matron to a spot deep beneath the redoubt. Uh, I think that's where Nathari has taken the clan. Give me a second. Okay, give me a second to adjust my headset again. You make it sound like no one else has used this place in a long time. They haven't. My mother had the entrance to the barrow concealed when I was a young girl. No one has used it since before I was born. I always knew those old stories interested my sister. I never <sighs> expected her to lead the clan down there. How did you know that Brandon killed that scout? A werewolf killed this vampire, and it wasn't one of those grey host mongrels. Raiden would have easily beaten us here, and I know his preferred method for delivering a quick kill. I imagine we might see more of his handiwork inside the redoubt. Tell me more about your sister. Nathari is younger than me, but way too sure of herself. When I was the clan's matron, I tried to mentor her, but she follows her own heart. Witches can be a stubborn mob. Only wish she heard others as well as she thinks she hears the spirit queen. What do you think the spirit queen is saying to Nathari? Doesn't matter what I think. It's what Nathari believes she hears. What she sees in every sign important. From what Brayden said, she thinks it's time to return to the old ways. Blood sacrifice and dark magic. I wanted nothing to do with that. Is that why you're no longer part of the clan? Nathari wanted to be matron, and the clan. They were ready to choose her over me. I wanted to forge new traditions, but she promised them the mirror's blessing if they heeded the old ways. Fear and superstition are powerful motivators. <sighs> Speaking of werewolf, um, I'm a werewolf, too. <laughs> Does it actually show the map? Is there actually a map for High Isle available on the PTS? Okay. Uh High Isle map. Does it show the island? Finally? I I know that the I know it's I know that it's out on the PTS or whatever it's called. Yeah, it's on the PTS. Okay, so I gotta know about combat changes coming soon.
Okay. I don't understand. It's like the grey horse is guarding this place. I have a feeling that I'm going to have to change my armor for all my characters very soon and fighting style with all my characters very soon. Smile. Just smile. Not, not like one of those. Yeah. It doesn't look like the Greyhost attacked my clan. At least not yet. We need to find them. Wow, I'm more focused on reading articles than the game right now. Oh dear. Also, the game like this. Apparently. Alright, how close am I? I'm getting pretty close to it. Lock issues. April 13th. That's the Grey Host Command Camp up ahead. Let's see what they're doing here. See what you can find. Oh. Mangy cur. The Grey Host has no room for weekly. Okay. Grey Host scratchings. What does it say? Oh, oh. Yeah, so. Well, do those scratchings on paper tell you anything about what the Grey Host is doing in Lost Valley Redoubt? Lady Belen convinced Nafari to perform a ritual required by the Dark Prophecy. I never should have let Nafari push me aside. She was always drawn to darkness, even as a girl. Lady Belen must have found her eager to believe the right lies. Does that letter say what Belaine hopes to gain from my sister's foolishness? She believes Nefari's ritual will awaken the Dark Heart. The Dark Heart again? According to the prophecy, death awakens the Dark Heart. By the spirits, what evil has Belaine convinced my sister oh to perform? Dear. We need to find Nefari and stop her before something terrible takes place. We, we gotta continue. Uh, as long as they get to progress the other characters' storylines, the We're other stream the right series the shouldn't be affected. Keep going. The other characters' storylines will not be affected, hopefully. I just gotta make some changes. Forever with this character. <laughs> So I gotta do some stuff with this character later. We're almost to the summit. The borrow entrance is just ahead. Oh. 
The entrance should be here somewhere. Look around. Oh, is this it? Ah, you found the rock. That's actually the door. But it will only open for a ghost song witch. Oh. Well, look at that. Still going. Oh, that's convenient. <laughs> Rising all around us. Nathori must have started the ritual. All right, let's get going. Nathori allow Greyhost soldiers to prowl these holes. Oh dear. Don't mind me just searching these. Oh, I also gotta upgrade the sketches gear in a little while. Eventually. Oh dear. Oh, I, I am definitely gonna take that. I get to sell. Ritual sacrifices. Nathari wants the clan to return to the old ways. The in the past, ghost song witches made blood sacrifices to the spirit queen and the lord of the hunt in rooms such as this. My foremothers believed that death pleased our gods. Nathari still holds that view. Uh, what happened here? My foremothers believed the Spirit Queen granted them power in exchange for the souls they sent to her realm. A death is the greatest gift a mortal can give, after all. This was where the clan performed ritual sacrifices to appease Namira. So Lady Belain wants Nathari to perform a ritual sacrifice to awaken the Dark Heart? I. That seems to be where all this is laid in. To awaken the Dark Heart, my coven must sacrifice that which they hold most dear. Their own kin. Many Gosong clan members are about to die. That's why Nathari brought them here. We must stop her. Clearly not my sister's doing. So I was supposed to search over here. I can't believe she actually did it. Nathari sacrificed this ghost zone hunter.
Cathari, no! What have you done? The hour is upon us, dear sister. You must feel it. The darkness. You sacrificed our own people. Oh, poor Sagan. I should have expected Arana to take up with outsiders. She always rejected the old ways. This is no place for one who doesn't hear the spirits of the Reach. You're not worthy to walk these sacred halls. Worthy? You sacrificed your own people. And every one of them gave up their life willingly. They gladly died to awaken the Dark Heart from its slumber. Arana may deny it, but this is the day Namira has been preparing us for. We give our souls to the Dark in return for eternal life. And none of your people refuse to lay down and die for you? You sound like Braden. True believers see the honor in this sacrifice, but not everyone can overcome the fear that whispers in their ears. The flesh quails even when the spirit is strong. No matter, we help them complete their journey. In other words, you kill, you kill them, whether they agree to die or not. Why does this matter to you, outsider? The ghost song hunters, the true hunters, gather below, ready to give their lives for the Spirit Queen. Braden will too, when his time comes. I shall complete the ritual and awaken the Dark Heart. Lady Belaine is using you. She doesn't care about your clan. The clan chose me, Arana. The Spirit Queen demands death, and I shall give it to her. Damn it. I should never have left. No. I can't allow this. We need to find Brayden and the others. <sighs> this is horrible. Notharia's convinced herself that she's doing the will of the Spirit Queen. And she persuaded at least some of the clan to go along with this madness. We have to find a way to stop her. Hmm. Lady Belaine and Nathari both believe that sacrifice in your clan will awaken the Dark Heart. Aye. That seems to be the long and short of it. The Dark Heart will beat again, and its power will surge up from the deep places to consume everything. Its darkness will cover the world. Why would they want? Why would they want to do? Oh my God! Uh, why would they want that to happen? The prophecy talks of death and destruction, but it also says that those who embrace it will be spared. There's power in the darkness, especially for those who believe and hold true to its word. Now let's go try to save my clan from this madness. Old matrons mentioned a ritual cave deep within the barrow. It must be this way. I'm just going to ignore what I have. I'm just going to ignore some stuff. I, I'm going to just put away the articles, close the articles and whatnot. Will she care if I turn into a werewolf? Because I do owe a werewolf transformation. Ghost song hunters loyal to Nathari. Surely some must have opposed her. No! Oh, she doesn't care. Cool. Uh, of course, the one thing that always gets me killed. Danger and will die. Stamina. Okay. Not sure if 
friendly. When they did fight back, they were quickly overwhelmed. Oh dear. Oh my. This isn't like my main where I don't have to worry about running out of level. And you're helping. I should add that you're also helping. That beside him. Not many of my clan learned the scratchings, but Senin could read and write the Imperial language. He spent years in Morakar's Imperial Guard. What did he write down? This Senin, Senin, and some other, some of the others fought back. He was mortally wounded by another clan member. As we've seen, Matharia's convinced some of the clan to support this mad endeavor. This is Lady Belaine's doing. Spirits take that woman. She's laughing far from here and safe while Nathori does exactly what she wants. The note mentions the Dark Descent, a pit where the rest of the clan is going to be sacrificed. Aye, I remember that from the stories. A cavern where the floor drops into darkness. That's where the first Ghost Song Witch made a bargain with the Spirit Queen. Legend says the pit divides the land of the living from the dead. Mm. Let's keep moving. Alright. <sighs> the wind is particularly strong. And food. Look, I gotta use what I got. I gotta use what I got. Uh, okay, so hopefully I'm actually paying attention this time. And not just 100% con concentrated on complaining. About something I like. In this game. Oh dear. Okay, so what's next? Let's plan. I actually have no idea what I'm gonna do tomorrow. I actually kind of have no plan of what's gonna become of this series. I do want to try finishing this quest line before. Uh, dinner, I guess. This entire storyline before it sets. Hopefully. Now uh, we'll see. We will see. Okay. <sighs> Twitter is also not a good place to check. You know what? No. No more. I am gonna put away. We need to hurry. Oh, I'm gonna do. It. I'm gonna try to avoid what I can. And focus solely on the stream and the game. No more distractions. Also, I'm gonna transform into a werewolf again because why not? Oh dear. The dark heart stirs. 
You can't stop the prophecy from being fulfilled. If we die this day, we shall live forever! know myself too well that I might get distracted with something else. Or maybe I'll do something else. No. No, 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 no. I will see this to the end. Hopefully. I really got that in this game. Badly. <laughs> Darkness. I don't mind fighting. I thought it was something I can eat. Maybe you. Well, I guess we're stopping you. Well, well, I can no longer use werewolf. My werewolf form likes to take forever. Since it likes to go, f it builds up so slowly. But I can use it. Skills, I guess. Come on, werewolf. I know you like to take your sweet time to build up, but now's not the time to take forever to build up. Now's not the time to take forever to build up, werewolf form. No, I like to take my sweet time to build up. Or whatever a werewolf's voice sounds like. Ready? 
finally. inside me, pulling me towards the pit. Oh, hello. I knew Nathari's ideas were folly, but this... With her own hand, she gave her kin to the darkness. She would have killed all of us if you and Arana hadn't arrived. The real enemy is Lady Belaine. She convinced Anari to sacrifice her clan. Nathari was a friend once, before she became obsessed with the old ways. If Lady Belaine put her on that path, then I've got a score to settle with her. And I'll fight to protect what's left of us, few though we may be. Will you join Arana and help us defeat Lady Belaine and the Grey Hosts? Aye, we'll fight. There aren't many of us left, but most of us are werewolves. Lady Belaine will regret the day she turned our own witches against the clan. That, I promise you. We'll make our way to Rebels Retreat. I'll look for you and Arana there. Alright. This isn't your fault, Arana. Nathari could only see her own visions, hear her own spirits. Nathari's madness was... My wife! I tried to stop her. I tried to pull her back. But the shadows reached out and grabbed her. I couldn't save her. They're all gone, devoured, like this story said. I felt the darkness inside me, pulling me towards the pit, down to something evil beneath the ground. Anyone else I can talk to? I guess these are. Go. I'll meet you back at Rebels Retreat. I want to say a last prayer for the dead before I leave. Maybe I can free my sister's soul from the darkness that took her. Give her some modicum of peace. Oh dear. Now how do I get out of... Now, now I know how to get out of here, but... Where will this take me? I have no idea. Alright, we got a good while. <laughs> you know, I wish I started the stream earlier, to be honest. <laughs> but at last, but at last, my plan, my ideas versus what actually came to be. I was hoping to start the stream like early, but eh. Oh well. Here's hoping I actually can keep going until this quest line's over. With, ah, knowing me, probably won't be. Ah, dear. Oh dear. Has no one cleared this yet? I mean, maybe I could. Oh wait, I forgot. Uh, Harrow Storms in this game are... Hmm. They're very hard. Especially solo. And besides, we got a sword to press. Plus, we got an entire story left.
Yeah, we got a good while. Uh, probably not a good while with my controller, but for me, a good while. Before I want to stop. And hopefully... Oh. Oh, for the good sign already. Oh dear. Uh-oh. I think it may be Bud. How about what else isn't Bud about this game? Okay, give me a sec. Am I in combat? Says I'm in combat. I don't think I'm actually in combat. <sighs> yeah, I'm not even in combat, it's just Bud. Like always. How ah, about when isn't this game Bud? This is what you bring us around us. Brighton Pups? Brighton Pups? My hunters are the equal of ten of yours. Do you care to see our claws and fangs? Save it for the grey horse skin changer. Let's see what they can do on the training field. Right, what do you gotta say? The news that Lady Belaine was invoking the prophecy of the Dark Heart. I never expected it to lead to the decimation of my old clan at the hands of my sister. Uh. Still, I can't help feeling that this was a rehearsal for something even more terrible. What do you mean, even more terrible? The prophecy says it takes more than a handful of deaths to awaken the Dark Heart. Oh, Nathari got something to stir. I think Lady Belaine just used her to test the waters. The darkness responded, though. Thank the spirits you stopped the ritual. All right. Okay, so will let me fast travel? Or will it say... Yeah, apparently I'm in combat! Ha 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 Thank you, game. There you are. That darkness Arana mentioned, I think we found it. I'm not in combat, game. I haven't been in combat for a while. Verandas has been studying that dark energy down in the library of Arkansand, trying to figure out what Radha al Saran and Lady Belaine have planned. He thinks it might actually be related to the darkness. The void. Isn't that a terrifying thought? The Void. Look, I'm no scholar. I barely believe in this stuff and I hardly understand it. But the Void is the place outside the places. The darkness beyond Mundus and Oblivion. Anyway, Brandis felt a change in the currents. He sent me to get you. A ghost song clan which attempted to awaken the Dark Heart. Arana and I stopped her. Well, that would explain it. You might have stopped it from fully awakening, but Verandas says something has changed. Even I could feel it. Come on, Verandas needs you to meet him at Night Hollow Keep. That's where he traced the dark energy to. I'll go meet Verandas at Night Hollow Keep. Night Hollow Keep is down in Blackreach. Hold on, let me see if... I'll meet you down in Blackreach. Hold on. Will it let me log off? You can't log out in combat! Ah ha ha ha! God, I love it. God, I love that. Thank you, game. I'm totally in combat. I totally see a red dot. Somewhere. Is it because I went near that... S that storm? Herald storm? What if I killed this thing? Is it because of you?
Oh god. <laughs> You're so st Yeah, apparently I'm stuck in combat. All right, let's see if that works. Where's a high enough place in this game for fall damage to get take me? So it doesn't always work. <sighs> Look, I am just trying to do something. God damn it! Okay. Yeah, I literally can't do anything about that. I'm in combat, even though I'm not in combat right now. Alright. Why? 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 <laughs> Maybe kill this thing. You know what? Let's see. Will this end combat for me? And CSO. I haven't been in combat for a while. I really hope this hits thing. Why? Game, why? Why must you do this to me? I'm not in combat! Piece of. Game, please. Gosh golly, I love this bug. Where it says I'm in combat, even though I haven't been in combat for a little while. And I guess the only thing that can actually solve this problem is dying. Okay. So the true Dark Heart is... Can I just find a high enough ledge game? I can't lock off if I wanted to. Game will, won't let me. Uh, I can't. <sighs> this is not gonna kill me. Yep. So the only fit, hopefully, is dying because of this bug. Unfortunately, you'd think because of all these high APs, it's easy to die in this zone. Fun fact? No. Not at all. It's not easy. And I'm trying. And I think it's all because of that Herald Storm. Oh god, did I... what did I do? I can't lock. Can I even use this? Nope! Can't, can't 
even use that. Even out, out of combat. I'm not even in combat. Anywhere I can jump. Can I even harvest anything? Gosh, golly, I love being stuck in combat. Even though I'm not even in combat right now. <laughs> You know, it's been a very long time since I've had this bug. A ver- a, t a very, very long time. Even if I killed something, doesn't work! Doesn't even work. Ah, this bug. Doesn't help that I move slowly. I can't even mount if I want to make it to Markov fast enough. So I just have to make it on foot. You cannot mount in combat. You cannot mount in combat. You cannot log off in combat. You can't fast travel in combat. I'm not in combat. Game. Please. None of these weak Can I even do anything? Please tell me I can. Please tell me I can go here. Please tell me if it's footstep. And if a stream crashes because. Ha ha ha! Gotta love tech problems! Ah. Am I. Am I still in combat? Yes, I am. What's high enough? God, what's come of the witches of the Lost Valley? No. But your tone says nothing good. They were sacrificing their own to gain power for the coven. Or so say the survivors. <sighs> I guess the highest point I can jump from is right here. All right, please work. Oh, I hate this bug. I fucking hate this bug. Yep, dying did work. Stuck in combat bug sucks, hold on. Like it's There we go. Anywho, where was I again? What was I doing again? Oh yeah, trying to advance the story.
Oh dear, anywho. <laughs> it, it feels like the zone's the most broken. It really feels like that. Well, sometimes it does. I don't have that annoying bug. Eh, it seems I'm so fine. Though I am lost. Very, very lost. I am indeed very lost. Anywho, one lap. Okay, so there, are. there is another quest after this, but the dark heart. I I kind of want to see how far I can go with this storyline. So we're gonna keep going until I'm done. Oh, hello. Timing, my friend. The pockets of energy we discovered in the library of Arkzan, they're even stronger here. The void energy permeates that ancient keep. I suspect the Dark Heart hides somewhere inside, and I fear that it's growing stronger. Arana's sister sacrificed much of her clan to attempt to awaken the Dark Heart. Interesting. The Dark Heart hasn't fully awakened, but I did feel it stir. We need to find the Dark Heart, whatever it is and prevent Rada and Belaine from using it. I thought it was a dwarven artifact, but then why was I drawn to Night Hollow Keep? What do you know about Night Hollow Keep? Very little, I'm afraid. The whole idea of a kingdom of ancient vampire clans hiding in the depths of Blackreach, well, I thought it was nothing more than a legend. Let's explore the keep and see what we can learn while we try to find the Dark Heart. All right, I'll help you search Night Hollow Keep. Let's you and I split up and search the keep while Gwendis returns to Markarth. We know Lady Belaine has something in mind for the city, and one of us should be close at hand. Inside, look for personal items. I can use them to glean information. How will personal items help you learn anything about Night Hollow Keep? One of my talents involves Auromancy magic. Auromancy. Inanimate objects, especially items that hold significant personal value, can become imbued with the auras of those who possess them. Sometimes I can read vague impressions. Sometimes more. Tell me more about uh, Oromancy. Important events and powerful emotions leave a mark on their surroundings. Oromancy deals with evoking memories from the auras left behind on objects. It's an arcane art that I have perfected over the centuries. It often helps me in my work. How well you think it will help us here? Oromancy is a useful tool for unraveling the history of ancient places. Clearly, this keep was once great. Now it's forgotten. Yet a power our enemies covet stirs within. I think the story of this place is the story of the Dark Heart. Could these Night Hollow vampires be related to Rada El Saran? I don't see how. Rada El Saran was a Yakudan swordmaster before he came to Tamriel. His vampirism is a result of a meeting with Molag Ball. At least that's how I understand it. Lady Blaine, however, her origins are unknown to me. Is that why the search for the Dark Heart is leading us to, to Night Hollow Keep? A good question. We know that Rodder promises freedom to the Grey Host. 
I spent centuries bringing the various elements of his plan together. How the Night Hollow fit in, I can't say. At least not yet. Hopefully the answers await us in the keep. Okay. <sighs> Alright. You know I never ask anything without good reason. Markarth is in danger. Fine. But when the real action starts, I won't sit on the side and let you deal with all the danger. Okay. Oh dear. These wolves are cool. <laughs> I don't know. I, I very much like them. A lot. I love them. This area has always kind of creeped me out a bit. Eh, kind of. Slightly. Ever so slightly. Do I have my brother? Okay, my... Yeah, okay, I have it still. And there it is. Night Hollow Keep. Okay. Still missing a few things. Reach when depths. I'm not gonna even pronounce that. And the arena, which I'm not gonna attempt because I haven't even attempted that with my main, so why would I attempt it attempt it with this character? Oh my god, what's with this account? Oh my god. Uh oh, um, so, as long as you can still hear me, that's good, um, apparently my headset is damaged. I've had this thing for like, a year at this point. Now, well, thankfully I have a new headset just as a backup. I thought it was going to be a backup for my main headset. Nah. I'm, I'm not going to play with it. Oh, that does explain. Thankfully I have it. I just got to make sure it works. Though it is a bit closer to my mouth. I mean, as long as you can hear me, that's all that matters. I mean, it still works properly. I can still hear stuff with this headset. <laughs> oh, dear. Personal object within this. Did you find something? Immediately, yes. Yes, immediately. What did you find? My auromancy works best on a personal possession, something with an emotional aura, 
or even an arcane residue clinging to it. I found some sort of old insignia. Will that work? Let me see. Hmm. A pity the stone is damaged, but it still retains a trace of magical aura. There are different ways to evoke echoes of the past. Objects that people wore or carried tend to collect and hold strong impressions. Do you know what that insignia is? No, but it appears to be a pin or an emblem of some kind. The owner would have worn it on their clothing close to their body. Good. Oh. Let's see if it has anything to show us. Keep your eyes open and observe. I'll watch and see what your magic reveals. A gift for me, my love. I have chosen. Tonight, you and Rain will drink from the dark heart. I have longed for this moment, my lady. Soon, you will be a lord of the Night Hollow Clan. One of my chosen. So Lady Belaine did the bel I sensed that Lady Belaine was ancient, but the vision confirms she was not only part of the Night Hollow Clan, she was their leader. The Dark Heart gets more interesting at every turn. How did they drink from it? For that matter, what did they drink? Will any of that help you figure out what the Dark Heart is? Yes, but we need more information. I can deduce that the Dark Heart is some sort of power source. That much is obvious. And it's tied to the Void energy we encountered. Plus, the currents got stronger when Arana's sister sacrificed her clanmates. Why the vampires here... Why are vampires here so different? They're more like crazed monsters than intelligent beings. Yes, I noticed that too. Whether due to the long centuries of isolation or something more sinister, they are shadows of their former selves. Take the insignia with you and keep exploring. Now that it's charged, more memories may reveal themselves. I don't understand. I cast Oromancy upon the insignia. The lingering magic may reveal additional scenes from the past as you explore these halls. Phantasms, really. Harmless. And keep watch for more void portals. As at Arctazan, they may help you navigate this place. I'll look for void portals and watch for memories as I explore. Okay. I guess we're learning more about the Dark Heart. And whatever is here. Is that a memory? I think that was a memory. Oh dear. Oh dear. I feel like it should add. Should I ever turn on subtitles? On. Should I turn on subtitles in this game for a future series? Primarily just the series I do. Like this, these Let's Play series or Bonk Playthrough series. Should I turn on subtitles? I mean, I mean, I think that's a good idea, but I don't know. I love spiders in this game. Not like I just want to cry. Finally! Level up. What was I leveling up? Uh, 
think I was leveling up Magicka. Yeah, I think I was leveling up whatever I can of my Magicka, and then... And then some. More. There's no particular build to this character at all. I had an idea for a build, but... Not anymore. Although, I do gotta upgrade her gear when I can. Oh, come on. What's over here? Oh, I had to go this way. This leads nowhere. Look what the hunger does to me. Dear. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so there's a portal over there. Oh dear. If I have anything to say about it, I want to stop the heart. I'm going to stop this heart. Something to it, no. Oh, this boss, I swear. I guess this is some sort of throne room. I guess this was some sort of s throne room. Oh, some sort. Ah, this looks promising. A noble's chamber, I think. Take a look around. Uh, I found something I can cast my auromancy upon. My explorations have turned up very little. But it looks like you've had better luck. What did you find? I found another insignia. It appears to be undamaged. Exactly what I was hoping for. I suspect the Night Hollow nobles wore these as a badge of rank. Let's see what we can learn with a little more Auromancy. I'll watch while you perform your magic. We broke through. The way to the Dark Heart is open. But the heart falters. Something is wrong. The damned dwarves. They depleted its energy. Yeah. Seal the dark halls. Until the heart recovers, only those who bear the sign of the inner circle may partake of its gifts. 
Oh? I think I understand what happened to the Night Hollow clan. I suspect Lady Belaine is the survivor of a long decline. While the rest of her clan slid into madness, she alone remained to carry on their legacy. Such a bitter pill for a proud vampire. What do... what did we just see? That memory comes from a later time. The Lord spoke of opening a way to the Dark Heart, which implies the Night Hollow lost access to it at some point. But what are these Dark Halls Lady Belaine spoke of? Where can we find them? Maybe the Dark Halls lead to the Dark Heart. Hmm, maybe. Perhaps. And maybe we have the key. Lady Belaine said that only those who bear the sign of the Inner Circle can utilize the Heart. That must refer to the insignias you found. Let's look for these Dark Halls. I'll look for an I'll look for an I'll look for an entrance to the dark halls. More than likely the dark halls lie below us somewhere. See if you can find a way down while I attempt to trace the currents of void energy that radiate throughout this ruin. One of us should find a way through. Vampires, dwarves, r reach witches. Who does the dark heart really belong to? The best answer may be none of them. I suspect the Dark Heart may have been here before all of them. More than likely, they found it and made use of it. Across the ages, different people may have been drawn to its power. We may never know for sure. Do you... do you think it drew Rada al Saran? Perhaps. It's curious, isn't it? I wonder if the Dark Heart has a purpose of its own. And we better keep going. Until we actually find this thing, all we have, I guess, is... Oh, that, uh, that will be, that's pretty good. Nothing, nothing. Oh, that's, that's gonna come in handy. desire but nah I gotta fight yeah. also how am I a mage how am I a mage Oh yeah, I I guess I have to fight through these guys. Oh dear. That was all of them. Not diamond chamber. I think this is the entrance to the dark halls. As you can see, powerful magic wards the door. Perhaps I can draw a memory from it. A dormant dark heart is of little use to us, Belay. Uh. It can be awakened, but I need to get the help of the Reach Witches. Patience, Spade. Not until I restore the Grey Host. Not until we unlock the Orrery. More delays. Very well. 
But the dark heart must beat again, Rada al Saran. Nothing else matters. It seems Rada came here a long time ago. This is the most. Did you see? Rada and Belaine made some sort of deal centuries ago, and now the conditions of that deal have almost been fulfilled. We can't let them fully awaken the Dark Heart. Didn't Athari sac didn't Athari's sacrifices are already awaken the Dark Heart? I've been thinking about what you told me. I believe the Ghost Song ritual primed the Dark Heart, opening a path between this world and the Void. The Void energy is stronger here, but it lacks direction. I fear they require greater sacrifice. A uh, greater sacrifice? Something as powerful as the Dark Heart that's been asleep for millennia may stir from the taste of a few souls, but I suspect it needs a banquet to awaken fully. Perhaps if we hurry, it won't come to that. Lady Belaine said she was ready to awaken the heart centuries ago. Why wait until now? Because Rodder had not yet raised a new army. And he had other preparations to make, no doubt. Centuries don't matter much to immortal vampires. Now hold up the intact insignia. Let's see if we're right and it grants us access to the dark holes. Alright. Uh. Okay, so... The dark holes. Tunnel? The Night Hollow left the Dark Heart where they found it, instead of bringing it to their keep. Strange. Don't have to wonder why. <laughs> Here's me just theorizing about something in this game. Well, it's not important to the stream, but it's in my time zone. It's four hour, four, four fourteen p.m. Almost four twenty p.m. of the day. Four twenty. Four twenty, I guess. <laughs> Legal here in California. Well, that's good, I guess. I don't do the weed. I don't do the weed. Not exactly my thing, and I I don't I don't do it. I. You know, I really do wish when it launches, I can stream it on that day. But ha 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 ha! No, I have to let it update. Then I just yeah, have to wait and see. Because summertime is gonna be kind of a period of time when I'm not gonna stream as much. That's kind of why I'm trying to stream as much as I can before summertime. Hell, I might even do bonus streams. Obviously not tonight. Because this is the stream. This, what? this stream is going to be the stream. Awesome. I'll keep playing. Fight that I wanna to get to the dark heart on at 420 PM my time. Not 420 hour. You know what'd be funny? I beat this entire storyline at 420. The stream length. But alas, no. Combat in this game is fine. It takes a while. 
these belongings here they may have a story to tell a well-made weapon placed with care let me try my aura Mansi. oh dear lame we're dying there's nothing you can do i refuse to accept that idrisen but one of us must remain strong to save the others I will take the remaining energy from the Dark Heart. It will sustain me until I determine how to make it beat again. Nobelain, you know blood no longer sustains us. If you take the last of the Heart's energy, the rest of us will starve. Uh. How horrible. The Dark Heart gave the Night Hollow unbelievable power, but they were dependent on it. They lost the ability to draw sustenance from blood. As the Dark Heart slowed and fell into slumber, they became... diminished. Except for Lady Belaine. It appears that Lady Belaine took the last of the Void Energy for herself, enough to saturate her and keep her strong through all these long centuries, while the clan around her starved and turned feral. Can't they just go back to... Feeding on blood like other vampires? Apparently not. Feeding on void energy changed them. They lost the ability to take nourishment from the blood of mortals. I suspect Lady Belaine believes that her clan will recover once the Dark Heart begins to beat again. And she's probably correct. Let's let's move forward. Yeah. Oh, that is the void energy. That's the dark heart. That's the dark heart. The dark heart must be fed. I will see the mark heart. Rada, no. You must not awaken the dark heart. I stopped heeding your advice a long, long time ago. Slay these meddlers! Deal with Lady Belaine's oh, minions. I'll try to stop Rana. Alright. Alright, happy saving my breath. Our breath. This is the way it must be. You will understand. Also, happy 420 when it eventually turns 420. My time. Yeah, happy 420. I would. I would do that old 420 stuff, but no. I don't really do that stuff. Happy four happy hour 420 of the year 2022 and on the day of 420. Or April 4th. April 20th. Oh my god. Yeah, happy 420. Happy 420 day. Chat. Viewers. Unless you're watching this on the archive channel then. Happy post 420 day. Anywho. Uh, the other celebration for this is gonna be when the stream reaches uh, 4 hours and 20 minutes. Right now it's only uh, 2, almost 3 hours. And we're almost at the end. I failed you. We're almost done. We've got top of our quests left. That's the main line. The dark heart awakens. I can't stop it. Feed you heart of darkness. 
feed on the souls of Markar, and soon my brethren will be free. Those souls, the dark heart, a piece of the primal void trapped in our world. No wonder it warps the very weave of existence all around it. Look up. We're directly beneath the library of Arkzan. The Dark Heart, it powers the orrery. But to what end? What did what uh, Sauron, Sauron mean? Feed on the souls of Markarth. The Dark Heart feeds on death. You saw that when the Ghost Song clan was sacrificed. Only he's offering the heart a much larger feast. All the Reach folk in Markarth. He sent Lady Belaine there to finish what has undoubtedly already begun. Ad-Tadak called all the clans to take shelter in the city. Correct. As part of Lady Belaine's peace with the Grey Host. Just another horrible deception. Let's get out of this place. There may still be a way to save the people of Markarth. I'll meet you outside. That lift over there should take us to the library grounds. Hurry. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, that's not good. That can't be good. Markarth's souls are being drawn inside. I now understand the what of our enemy's plan, if not the why of it. Rudder had centuries to set this in motion, yet I don't see how the orrery can free the Grey Host. As for Lady Belaine, the Dark Heart beats again. Her Night Hollow are reborn. So, Rada Saran and Lady Belaine have won? No, not yet. Our enemy has gained a momentary success, but now we know the extent of their plans. Knowledge is a powerful weapon, my friend. This isn't over. We can still pull victory from the void. Because of you, we still have a chance. Oh? Our enemy advances on two fronts, my friend, and we must match them move for move. Radha al Saran has activated the orrery, while Lady Belaine has gone to Markarth. Worse, the Dark Heart beats stronger with every soul that flows into it. What do you want me to do? The attack on Markarth has begun, but we can still save the city if we hurry. Go. Warn Ard Kadak. Tell him to defend his people. Every life saved is one less soul for the Dark Heart. What about Radha Saran and Lady Belaine? I will deal with Radha. After you warn Kadak, find Lady Belaine, defeat her, and the Reach Folk will stand a better chance against the assaulting army. And if you can end the massacre, that will stop the flow of energy into the Dark Heart. Now go! I'll go to Markarth and warn Arkadak. I'll find a way to deal with Radha. Lady Belaine and the Grey Host, I leave in your hands. Stop them from feeding the Dark Heart, and it should fall dormant again. With any luck, that will put an end to whatever Rada plans to do with the Orrery. Alright, we got... I guess this is how I go to the grounds. How I go to the ground floor. So every kill I I do from now on supposedly feeds the dark heart as well. Hmm. Well, shit. I guess I'm immune since I don't have a soul. I think. Since, which, by the way, my protagonist does not have a soul. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have a soul. Yet. I don't have a soul right now. 
because I'm still doing the main quest. <laughs> oh dear. Now, is it any soul or just human souls, or like human elves, whatever? The souls. Okay. <sighs> oh dear. Still got a dailies. Still got some dailies left. None of these weak strangers could face a true reach challenge. All right, Markarth is not going to be in a good position right now. Oh dear. Oh dear. Assault has begun. The Grey Host came out of nowhere, hit the city like a giant's hammer, vampires and werewolves rending and killing anyone they could catch. The Ard's folk thought they were safe in Markarth. Only fools put their trust in walls. Bran, you need to know every Reach folk that dies today feeds the Dark Heart. Just like what Nathari did to my clan, the bastards. Arana brought us here to help, but it may be too late. They aren't only marching towards the gates, they're coming at us from beneath the city. What do you mean, what do you mean beneath the city? Lady Belaine unsealed the doors to Nichuan Zell and let the Grey Host into the city. We arrived just in time to fend off the first wave. Can't make any promises about the next. I'll go to, go to Understone Keep. Tell Ard Kadik and Arana what you told me. I'll go to Understone Keep. Stay sharp and keep alert on your way to Understone Keep. The Grey Host could attack again at any moment. So, Odd Tadak and Arana are working together now? The Vampire Noble, your friend Verandis. He convinced Arana that we had to help defend Markarth. We marched when Gwendis gave us the word. Besides, Arana and Kadik are both of the Reach. Reach folk stick together against outsiders. We always have. All right, so I thought my father would be safer here with me. Less trouble for his aching bones. I should have let him be. Oh dear. Oh dear. What do you gotta say? Some of these rage folk are terrible gamblers. I've beaten more than I. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Probably not the best time to talk about gambling. In the middle of what's going on here. Okay. Hello. Hello? There you are. After all your talk, I was beginning to think you abandoned us. The Grey Host raided my city. Killed more of my people than I like, but we held them off. 
Barely. Now those bastards are gathering in Ichuan the Zell for their next attack. Lily, Lady Belaine and the Grey Hosts want to kill. Lady Belaine and the Grey Hosts want to kill as many of, of you as they can feed an arcane relic. Ah, words. Well, uh, they certainly did a good job with their first attack. Lady Belaine actually tried to kill me herself. Might have succeeded. If not for Arana, she drove off Belaine. Save my sorry hide. As soon as I can assemble my troops, we'll strike back. No, you need to defend yourself and keep your people safe. The fewer rich folk die, the better. Damn it, outsider! Ugh. But your words ring true. All right. Defense only. For now. <laughs> Arana had that look in her eyes, though. I think she plans to try to deal with Belaine on her own. Now, if you have the mind, go to Nichiwan the Cell and help the witch rebel, eh? I'll find Arana and deal with Lady Belaine. Watch your step in Nichiwan Cell. From what we could tell, the Grey Host was gathering there for days before the attack. Even without the vampires and werewolves, there are old traps and metal monsters to contend with. Dwarves never did like company. Why did Arana run off on her own? A strong witch, in all her anger, is a force of nature. Arana blames Lady Belaine for what happened to her old clan, and rightly so. Sounds like Belaine got into poor Nathari's head. The old ways. Even I'm not fool enough to want them back. We discovered that Lady Belaine is an ancient vampire from the Night Hollow clan. Ha! My grand would scare us with tales of the Night Lords who once ruled the Reach from the land below. Always thought she was just trying to frighten the children. Like most of the Vadishran legends, I, I suppose there was a kernel of truth in her stories. Why did you why did you ever agree to work with Lady Belaine? Well, she gave me good counsel for a time. Even regarding the Grey Host. Sheltering in Markarth saved a lot of Reach folk lives. Until today, at least. Arana warned me, though. She didn't trust Belaine from the start. Alright, what do you get us? Hang on, hero. I did a bit of scouting, and you need to hear what I have to say. Netchenzel is crawling with Grey Host soldiers. Okay. Not to mention all the dwarven constructs that clank around down there, too. Did you see Arana? Is she... all right? I didn't see her, but I wasn't able to advance very far into the Undercity. Ah. Since you're obviously on your way to help her, and I've delivered all the messages I had, I'm going back to the Library of Arxan. <sighs> Rada Saran was in the Ori Chamber. Verandas was going to try to confront him there. I hate that Verandas has a past. But he is an ancient vampire. I can't expect him to have remained alone for centuries until he met me. His connection to Rada al Saran, though, he needs to be careful. His feelings are going to get him into trouble. Get him, get him into trouble? How so? Verandas always tries to see the good in people, but any good Rada al Saran had dried up a long time ago. Look, someone needs to help Verandas, and you have to find Arana and deal with Lady Belaine. But maybe when you're finished. You can come join us. Okay. Also, don't mind me. I'm going to eat something that I had. Okay, it's one of those things. Mm. Yeah. Very crunchy. Very chewy. Chewy, really. Very hard, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Mm.
I still don't understand the whole point of a lollipop chocolate thing. Besides, like, normal lollipops. Are you meant to suck on these or chew them? Also, I looted here a lot with my main. So, don't mind me. I'm also going to be as quiet as possible, but not really. <laughs> Yeah, it's one of those things you gotta suck on, really. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm gonna admit that I do have a... A lot of cases of mud munchies, I guess. Anywho, let's keep moving. I, I am going to be quiet a lot when I... S this is just so I have an energy to keep going for a while. Just so we know. I do admit that I do get sleepy. So yeah, sleep. So yeah, energy. You know, now I can imagine my character kind of sucking on like a lollipop or something while fighting all the great host soldiers and whatnot. With a uh, ats or staff, depending. Friendly presence. Friendly? I wanted to finish this, but the lane. She's too strong. And the Grey Host. I tried to return to Markarth, but got turned around. <coughs> Tell me what happened. I chased Lady Belaine into the depths, battled her to a standstill. And then she summoned the Grey Host. She fled while I fought them off. To the Orrery, I think I heard her tell the Grey Host commander. Verandas went to confront Rada. <coughs> Rada Saran at the Orrery. Oh my god. Listen, I sensed <coughs> something else down below. A second keystone. Find it, and you'll be able to enter the Orrery chamber. I understand. Let me escort you back to Markarth. Forget me. Get the second keystone. Don't let Belaine draw any more power from the Dark Heart. I'll find the Keystone and get, get into the Orrery Chamber. Don't linger, Harrier. All this death, it fuels the Dark Heart, making it stronger with every passing moment. Find that Keystone and stop Lady Belaine. Hurry! Are you sure you'll be alright? I already feel my strength returning. It's the Dark Heart. Like the ghost song witches of old, I feel its power stirring within me. I hear the whispering of Namira. The Spirit Queen is with me. 
Is Impa Dark in this place? Is Impa Is Impa Dark Heart evil? No, not in and of itself. Like all of Namira's gifts, how we use it is where good and evil come in. It's Belaine who is twisting it to this vile purpose. Oh. Stop her. Go on. I'll gather my strength and then see whether Spirit Queen wants to lead me. Okay. Down the stairs, then look for the vaults. That's where I fought Lady Belaine. So over here, and and it's locked. Nope. I actually went. I went through this area before just to. Well, loot. Really. Hey, I always need more resources. <laughs> Be quite a lot. Uh, mainly because of food. And also, and I am gonna cough because apparently I cough when I eat too much chocolate. I guess. Or maybe it's something with the sucking of the. I guess. Whatever this is. Chocolate lollipop. If you know what these lollipops are like, or whatever they are, you know what I'm talking about. I also have pictures of it. Tell me what these are. Okay, so... Okay, so I have no idea what I'm gonna do.
go. <laughs> All right. Ah, oh, dear. I will actually break my teeth if I chew this. I guess suck on this is better. I'm as frustrated as you are, Gwendis. We don't have a keystone, and I haven't been able to discern another way to get inside. About that? Try as I might, I haven't been able to penetrate the wards on the door into the orrery. The dwarven magic is too powerful. Without a keystone of our own, we'll never get inside. Give me a second. I couldn't stop Lady Belaine, but she led me to another keystone. I have it right here. Another keystone? It seems the spirits of the Reach smile favorably upon us after all. But you say Lady Belaine escaped from Arana. Any idea where she may have gone? Arana was, Arana was wounded in battle, but she heard Lady Belaine say she was returning to the Orrery. No one has entered or departed by these doors in all the time I've been here. It's clear that Roda and Belaine know more about this old dwarven structure than we do, though. They must have another way to come and go as they need. Should we try to use the keystone I acquired? By all means. If it works, we can finally confront Rodda and Lady Belaine. Together, perhaps we'll fare better than a runner. All right, let's go. I can get through to a Rodda. I must. An hour left <laughs> until 420 stream hours. Brothers and sisters, I told you it's impossible. Oh, but you're wrong about so many things. Can't you feel it, Baranus? The tug of the dark heart on your cursed soul. Leave him alone. Oh, the dark heart. You're going to sever our souls from Ball? You see, once I gather the Exarchs to my side, my ancient promise will be fulfilled. Delay. Spare Verandis and his cherished daughter. 
dispose of the rest. Come and gaze upon the heart. Come and witness my true power. Oh my goodness. Oh, boy. The lane corrupts Namira's gift. I'll create void portals. Use them to reach those void mothers and destroy them. All right, let's do this. We can't defeat her. The fate of the rich depends on it. this uh Arana do I just run across in this battle. I can defeat you with just what I'm eating or I guess sucking right now. Sucking on chocolate that I have flying around. You think your spirit queen favors you over me? Yes. Yes. 
Yes, I do. Oh, dear. Oh, that's just under my heart. Wait, after we defeat you, what about Ranasa? What are we gonna do about him? Got off a of power of what a prime consumer. I guess what is chocolate? Uh, sweet or something? I guess I have the power of a Benoit since I got this on. Since I had this on. Uh, I got this on. Uh, Easter. Done with the chocolate, too. Oh, boy. I'm glad I have a staff, otherwise it's gonna be that easy. Wait, I have other abilities.
kind of awkward to use this. Hold on, I'm using this one. Not to worry. I'm glad it lasted a while. I wonder if it's just floating. Hold on. My my way of fun. Probably won't do much to you. something even more insulting I was feeding on some sort of chocolate lollipop this whole fight ha ah. which chocolates are dangerous for canines like I guess myself and my kid and I guess it doesn't affect furries whatever furry is <laughs> Lady Belaine is she dead? Yes, we defeated her, but Arena, what happened to you? The Spirit Queen, Namira. She required a champion. She gave me the strength to press on, despite my wounds. No, that strength is gone. The Spirit Queen will just let you die? She is the spirit of death and decay. Belaine defied natural death, as all vampires do. 
using Namera's energy like that, it was an affront. I am happy to have done my part. Uh, Verondas needs your help. Go hurry her. Use this one last portal. I'll go help Verondas. Please, help Verondas. I see it now. The Lord of the Grey Host. She is dead, I think. Um, I think she's dead, but what does Hikira If done? you hadn't arrived when you did, Wendis and I would not have been able to power down the orrery. <clears throat> Thank you. But tell me, what of Arana and Lady Belaine? I could <clears throat> feel them. It was like a battle in the darkness. Lady Belaine took me to the dark heart chamber. Arana arrived. She helped me defeat Belaine. I ate some sort of seized candy chocolate uh, lollipop thing, I guess, whatever these things are, and yeah. So it was Belaine's death I felt in the darkness. Arda was right. For some reason, the connection I have to the Dark Heart is strong. But there was something else. Another sensation. Where's Arana, my friend? Arna said Namira suppressed her wounds so she could defeat Belaine. After the battle, she died. Arana dead. That's another soul lost to the void. Between her and those that perished at Markarth, the Dark Heart ate well this day. I'd like you to return to Understone Keep. Tell Ard Kadak that despite what we have lost, Markarth is safe. I'll tell Arcadic the news. You sure you'll be all right here by yourself, Arondas? I shall return to Markarth shortly. What am I saying? Of course you are. But if you're not back soon, I'll come and drag you to Markarth myself. All right. Oh dear. Oh dear. <coughs> oh dear. Also, oh dear. That. All right, so, so all I know is what's left is uh, epilogue. That deal. After the epilogue, that'll be the dark heart of Skyrim event, and then whatever side quests I decide to do. I mean, there's still that whole collectible quest left, collection thing left, uh, there's still dailies left, a at least one set of dailies. I, I wish I did during the event, the anniversary event, but oh well, what can I do? Another time, another year most likely. Anywho, so we still have a good amount of time left. <laughs> Seriously, this stream is supposed to be all of the main story for the Dark Heart. However, I don't think this stream will be done just yet. We still have uh, all but one. Actually, hold on, let me see. Uh, I'll probably just skip out on the Delve quest since I no longer have to do those anymore. Uh, let's see. We still have Reach Wind Depths. And... That's about it, really. 
Obviously, the last time I played this game with my main, uh, I never did the arena. It's a solo arena, but uh, it was just too hard for me. <sighs> Especially with him. You know, I could do it with my main. If you want to see me rage, that is. Uh, over a dungeon. I, I actually have to wonder, could I bring my... But also we got... Uh, that other little ruin left, uh, the epilogue left. Hopefully it'll let me talk to a certain character again. Do some questing. I'll, I'll probably do a lot more side quests. That's what I gotta say. I'll, I'll probably do some side quests as a wrap up to the main story. And then that'll be it, I think. <laughs> so if I know that the stream's gonna be this long, I'll just take a note saying, uh, the Dark Heart storyline should take about three, seven streams, perhaps. But hey, if it actually works, if I'm able to finish this stream by the, the storyline, by the end of this stream, which by the way, despite what you think, this quest I'm doing, in a moment, that I'm going to turn in, that's not the end of a storyline, yet. I hope. There's still the epilogue left. Yeah, there is an epilogue. If I remember right... Uh, where was it? Markarth? Still never done that, I could do that achievement. Uh, my main done that. I, I really hope I can talk to that. Okay, so these are the last three quests of the storyline that's left for me. After that, that'll be the end of the Dark Heart of Skyrim storyline. But maybe not the end of the series yet. Well. <laughs> Obviously, there is the collectibles left. Actually, hold on. Uh, or did I even write down do collectibles? Alright, so this series started back in... Last... Actually, this series started in March. March 1st, it's now uh, April 20th. You know, that can be fitting. That'll be fitting. This series wraps up on... It, it'll be really fitting if it wraps up today. I think that'll be a major arc, I guess. Obviously, it's filled with rambles and whatever else. My terrible voice acting, I guess. <laughs> whatever. Whatever, I don't care if my voice acting is not the best. Hey, I'm doing my best, okay? Anywho. Is... Also, besides... Ah, okay, he's so okay. Master of wood and hill, all things that live Where to go, cheer. superstar? Yeah, that's going off, by the way. Again, just in case we... I, just as a reminder. Oh. Ah, here's one whose report we need. What <sighs> we did as you said, Rover. We defended the city and kept our people safe. Then, all of a sudden... The gray host turned and fled. <laughs> and I barely got to kill a dozen or so of the bastards myself. Uh, do I have you to thank for this unexpected turn of events? Arana and I defeated Lady Belaine. Rada Asaran fled, and Veranda stopped the dwarven machine. Well, <laughs> that explains everything. Someone will sort out the details and tell them to me later, eh? All that matters 
Kings, the Grey Hose called off their attack and departed as soon as they lost their leaders. But where's Arana? I want to thank the witch. Arana died helping me defeat Lady Belaine. Arana promised to stop Lady Belaine. No matter what. Trust a Reach Witch to make her own words come true. At least it was a good death. Given in a noble cause. And Markarth still stands. We'll remember what Arana did. And we'll remember you as well. Where's the Grey House now? They're scattered and fled. <laughs> good riddance. Between Arana's wilders and my stone hands, we held them back. And when you cut off the head, they were done with this fight. Uh, there's some cleanup to be done in the wilderness, but nothing we can't handle. Then Martyrf is safe for now. Nothing is certain until it happens. We stopped Lady Belaine from gorging the Dark Heart with all the souls of Markarth, but we can't bring back the dead. Still, the heart awakened, but never reached full power. We turned back the Grey Host and killed the Belaine. That's a victory, my friend. Did you learn anything else from the Orrery? The Orrery remains charged with void energy, but the Dark Heart was never completely filled, and it already wanes. That means we denied Radha al Saran a limitless source of power. Radha may have escaped for the moment, but we will find him. What about the Night Hollow vampires? Any surviving Night Hollow clan members are bound to the Dark Heart. As it wanes, so will they. When you destroyed Lady Belaine, you sealed the doom of her entire clan. That threat is ended forever. Thanks to you and Arana. And do you, s and do you still sense the Dark Heart? Yes. Whether through the use of the Orrery or some other means, Rada tied the void energy to the Grey Host. And due to my past affiliation, that seems to include me. I can feel it. Hear its dark whisper. I need to ponder the implications. Should we should we go after Rada al Saran Saran now? Soon. For now, savor this victory. The courage of mortals, not some buried relic, is the true heart of the Reach. You've saved countless lives, and proved to the Reach folk that not all outsiders are a threat to this land. Rada's time will come. We defeated evil today. The time has come, my friend. An ancient darkness Let us speak. at the very heart of the Reach that threatened to destroy us all. These outsiders stood beside us and made our troubles, our enemies, their it's own. Not over yet. Let them hear our thanks. Look around, you people of the Reach. Markarth still stands. I know you've only had a moment's peace, but we must renew our hunt for Radha al Siran with all due haste. The setbacks will not slow Radha for long, and he's likely closer to his true goal than we know. What is Radha al Siran? What is R Radha al Siran's true goal? That I have yet to determine, but consider what he's wrought thus far. Harrow storms across western Skyrim to revive the Grey Host. Here, the souls of Markarth reaped to empower the Dark Heart. Both great sacrifices. But I fear worse is yet to come. What could be worse than all those deaths? A good question. Despite your success stopping High King Svargrim and Lady Belaine, the reawakening of the Dark Heart has provided the Dwarven Orrery with a frightening source of power. But to what end? I need your help to ascertain the answer. I'll help, I'll help you. Do you know where we should start looking for Radha al Saran? A moment. Sometimes the intensity of the currents flowing through the darkness can be... overwhelming. There. The Norian reports that Grey Host leaders gather north of Markarth. I believe Radha is there, preparing them for what's to come. The current, the currents flowing through the darkness. It's nothing. I, <clears throat> I don't want to concern the others. 
Whatever Rada did at the Orrery, it connected the Grey Host to the Dark Heart. And that includes me. Like the souls of Mark Hearth that the Heart consumed, a part of me is caught within the Void. What does that mean? I don't know. I can feel the Dark Heart's pulse. A throbbing that grows stronger as the Heart becomes more powerful. But it hasn't consumed me. In fact, like Arana and Lady Belaine, I may be able to draw upon it. Though I haven't attempted that yet. Let's go find Rada Arsaran. Investigate the Greyhost activity in the foothills north of Markarth, near Bathar Dams. Fenorian will meet you there. Gwendis and I will return to the Orrery in Arkthazand. Join us once you uncover Rada's plans. You know, I, I kind of thought you had to wait an, an entire year or until next year to continue the storyline to stop uh, Rada Arsaran. But no, it's immediately. You have to stop him. So I'm glad I'm able to finally deal with him. Anywho. Yeah, after this storyline, after these few quests. I knew quests, Lady was plotting something. I only wish I could split her skull myself. Arana and her rebels saved us the trouble. If they hadn't shown up, they would be. I know. Who'd have thought we'd After have this. That yeah. Can't you just be yeah. Yeah, after this storyline, I guess I'll be it. Anything else I do with the storyline? Oh, wait. There's one last quest after want? the storyline. So that does mean I'm going to be eating during uh, the last few hours of this stream. <laughs> Consider this like the epic conclusion of a storyline, I guess. Whatever epic storyline that could be. This is the conclusion of it. Hopefully. <laughs> I, I didn't really think that it would take me almost four hours to finish this. But hey, here we are now, and I'm almost done. <laughs> and once again... But at last... Uh, I don't have to do all the quests in one go. Not right away. And after the main quest, there is still that one side quest. And whatever side quest, and any other side quest left, I'll finish in my off time. How about this? The dark heart of the have vile dark heart. That's over with. The main story is over after after the next few quests. However, as a series, this is also almost over. Yeah, this series is almost over, and I'm so proud of this series. And what I've accomplished in the last few hours of my stream. I've accomplished a lot. Ow, 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 fuck, fuck, fuck. Ow. Ah. Ah. Hold on. Don't. Don't jump. My knee. My. Alright, so. I've been having a bad knee lately. Probably all the times I sat on my... Well, I sat on them. Or not really sat on them, more like... The pressure on them. <laughs> and it hurts a lot. But... It's still fine, I guess. Just hurts a lot. A lot.
Oh, dude. Okay. Brothers and sisters, we are on the cusp of victory. When the dark storm blows through the void, everything we lost will be returned. Even your lives. Oh, dear. A very long time since we talked. It's been a very little birds. Give him my best. Damn it. I knew we should have attacked hey. we had the chance. My orders were to wait, Lyris. At least Rada left something in his haste. Wait, is that you, partner? Oh, hey. I used you a moment. I was this close to finally planting my axe in Rada Al Saran's face. If Ben hadn't insisted we wait for his Raven Watch friends, that monster wouldn't have slipped through our fingers again. You're still on the hunt for him, too, I see. Verona sent me, actually. He didn't mention you'd be here. When Fen got his orders to investigate the Grey Host, I invited myself along. <laughs> Sorry about my temper. It's just that we've been shadowing these bastards for a while, and it looked like the opportunity to strike was finally at hand. Did you learn anything while stalking them? Well, Fen's the one keeping notes, but Rada al Saran gathered his subordinates and remaining forces here. It's clear he's preparing to make a move, so Fen sent word to the Raven Watch. I just wish we knew more about this dark storm Rada mentioned. It's a lead, at least. Yeah, a lead that's dragging us in circles. Look. Ben can tell you more. <laughs> I'm sure he'd love to talk to someone other than me. Brilliant conversation isn't one of my better known graces. Or well, mine. As you've experienced firsthand. Could this dark storm be related to the herald storms of Western Skyrim? Possibly. And I've seen Ice Reach Coven witches among the Grey Host troops. After we dealt with Svargrim and shattered the Grey Host's hold on Western Skyrim. It looks like Rada moved his operation to this part of the world. What about Fenzelitzer? Was he able to produce enough for, this, for the holds? It was slow going, but the concoction he and old Mjolin produced was the only reason the holds were able to start fighting back. Even after we stopped Rada al Saran's plan in solitude, I don't think the western holds would have survived without it. How's Svana? Alive and well. She's taken to her role as Jarl of Solitude far better than anyone imagined. The people love her. There's new life in the hold, despite all that's happened. I admit, I'm hopeful for the future, too. Provided we stop Rada al Saran. Alright. What should, what should say? What? Uh, oh, sorry. It's I was fixated on this trinket. When Veranda said he would send someone, I assumed he meant to do so. We weren't supposed to make a move, but Lyris feared we'd miss our chance. I don't think we ever had one, but don't tell her that. What's so interesting about that trinket? Other than I think it belonged to Rada al Saran? I sense a powerful magic has been cast on the item. Oromancy. I recognize it. The technique is remarkably similar to what Verandas uses. Not surprising, I suppose. They were friends once, after all. What, what else have you learnt while you were tracking the Grey Host? Well, after their defeats in Western Skyrim and the Reach, the Grey Host has regrouped. The ancient Exarchs have arrived and asserted their control over the newer troops. We also intercepted a courier a few days ago. He carried a coded message. Were you, ab were you able to decipher the coded message? My command of ancient Yokudan is elementary at best. I assumed it had something to do with Harrow's oh, stories. Until Rada Al Saran oh, mentioned no, this sense, dark though. storm, I think he's planning something massive, more massive even than the storm over Solitude. 
We should take this to Verandas. He's waiting for us at the orrery. We're going to meet Verandas. Right now? I, um... Yes, that would be prudent, I suppose. Do I look presentable to you? Oh my goodness. Befitting of an audience with the Count. I don't imagine there's time for a bath before we head to the orrery. Seems you... Seems like you've been busy since I saw you last. Amazingly so. I assisted Svana, Jarl Svana, for a while. He's just looking for the way. Helping old Njolin and the Mages Guild produce as much of the Harrowstorm elixir as we could. But I couldn't linger there forever. I've been tracking the Grey Host ever since. Have you learned anything about their current plans? No. Though I'm hopeful Count Verandas can find something in this coded letter. He's better at ancient languages than I am. I was able to find this meeting site, and I know the Grey Host forces have regrouped under the command of the ancient Exarchs. You seem you seem anxious to see Verandas. Do I? <laughs> yes, well I I suppose it's only natural. I'm returning from my first real assignment and haven't seen Count Verandas since well it was long before I started to investigate the Grey Host. I want to do him proud. You seem to admire Verandas a lot. Who doesn't look up to the person that's, for all intents and purposes, their father? Count Verandas made me a part of his noble house. I want to be worthy of that and uphold the ideals of the Raven Watch. And besides, I've missed my family. You, s you mentioned something about Auromancy? This trinket Radha al Saran left behind. It radiates a magical residue similar to what Verandas leaves behind when he casts Oromancy. Perhaps you've seen him use it to draw memories from the past. I wonder why Radha al Saran left it here. Okay. Is that Count Verandas? The soul's ability to travel among infinite planes of existence is equally boundless. Fen, what did you do? Souls can go anywhere. Yeah, Fen. Imagine if they had the freedom to choose their destination or even return to life. It's the aura, Mancy. We're seeing an image of the past. Okay, so I still have one more person left. And but I have to do their entire storyline next. I have a feeling it's the same person. This is like that same quest. Yeah, it's the same quest, but this version. This version. Oh, by the way, after this storyline, all that remains for me left is for, me I, I, for this character, by the way. Is how am I a mage? <laughs> Funny name, right? Also, I will be upgrading this character's gear, even though it's completely outdated. Like, oh my goodness, she's level 42, and this gear is like level 26, which is again very insulting to Lady Belaine that I was able to defeat her with just the gear I had. to show how... No, I, I just know what I'm doing. I think I know what I'm doing. Also, I, I feel like I'm going to waste a lot of resources in the first place. Also, I'm using those a lot, so that does come in handy as well. So it's like 60 experience increase. Though I wish account-wide achievements didn't really ruin that for me, since that was the only thing keeping me leveling up faster. Oh, hold on, I'm moving. Yeah, that... The only thing you keep making this slower is account-wide achievements. Otherwise, I would have been level 
50 with this character and be able to do what I want to do right away. But alas, look, I'm already writing down what I want, wanted instead of what they had. Can't change, can't change that anymore. Besides, you can, it's feeling so slower, a lot slower these days. Go. But we intercepted this letter. A moment, Fenorian. Darkness has passed. Well done, acquiring this letter. Never mind the pat on the back, Mirandus. What happened? Yes, nothing. A distraction. Our friend has arrived, and we must not waste any time. The Dark Heart. The episodes grow more frequent. Each time oh dear. the currents swell, it's like I'm losing myself to the darkness. We must uncover Rada's plans before that happens. Perhaps this coded message will tell us more about the Dark Storm. Can you decipher the message? I see that Rada has employed his mother tongue to obscure the message. I remember his language, and the Greyhost ciphers well. This... This isn't a dispatch. It's a letter to me. Is he taunting us? No, he. He's trying to persuade me. Convince me that his path is the right one. Prove to me that the dream we once shared is within reach. The letter outlines, in essence, the recipe for Rada's dark storm. Can we use that to stop it? Not in and of itself. He wants me to follow in his footsteps. To see what he did and learn the truth of what he promises. In doing so, however, I will discover how to stop it. He's bearing his stroke to me, confident I will not bite, but I must. Where is he telling you to go? I must seek a place in the reach where the land was sundered from Tanriel. And I must study the void through night hollow eyes. Finally, I must learn about keystones of the Darzel. In my current state, I... I don't trust myself. Will you go in my stead? I'll take this journey in your place. I'll leave the course of the journey up to you, but these three will go ahead to assist you. Lyris to Understone Keep, Gwendis to the Night Hollow Archives, and Fenorian to the Darzel. Oh, hold on. Oh no. I'll meet I'll meet each of them at the appointed place. I'm sorry to put this all upon your shoulders, but it's better that I remove myself from this journey. You can see what Rada intends to show me with impartial eyes. Learn the secrets of the Dark Storm, and together we'll unravel Rada's plans. Ah. All right, we got some places to go. Let's go. Right away, you know, just, just go. Oh dear, wait, hold on. There's that person. Where did Dr. Wendis? I mean, she's here, so why not? Why don't we? Why don't we talk to her? She is right here, after all. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. 
I mean, we got a good we got a good while. Alright, so the final quest is more of a... Yeah. Oh, and what do you know? My controller is dying immediately. <sighs> Seems that this thing dies faster these days. In, in the past, it lasted a good while. It it lasted me about five hours of playtime. My controller. Now it's like two hours, which kind of sucks. No, it actually does suck. Lot. So much. It really sucks. Alright. Oh, uh, let's get this over. Over here. Night Hollow Keep is just ahead. Night Hollow Keep is down this path. The archive should be right inside. In writings we recovered from Lady Belaine, she mentioned a Night Hollow Testament. That's probably what we're looking for. Just watch yourself. The place is locked down tight. What are we dealing with? Well, it's crawling with Night Hollow vampires. Not just the mindless spooky kind. Looks like some of them got recharged when the Dark Heart woke up. They patrol the outer wall in shifts. One door in and out. It's locked, but they carry keys. So we... So we... So we relieve one of the patrols. So we relieve one of the patrols of their keys. You got it. I haven't been able to keep track of their comings and goings, so there's no telling which vampires have the keys. Attacking them could attract unwanted attention. If you want to find a more discreet way past that wall, by all means. Alright, let's find a way into the keep. Remember, get keys off the patrolling vampires or find another way to get inside. Either way, let's get into the archive. Find this Night Hollow Testament and get back to Verandas, alright? I'll scout around on my own and catch up to you. Okay. Okay. And the extra dialogue will be. I'm off. If I see something that might help, I'll let you know. I would love the challenge. Oh, so it's this thing. It's all little things. Not summon or anything. Alright. Is that a thing? I do have the keys, so I could leave this area anytime. Is that a spider? You got me. God damn it. Spider trapped behind the wall. Look how high that nether root's growing. Think it will hold our weight? Well, time to find out. Yeah. 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 Oh, 
also I do have the keys. That'll make a difference. I guess these people I'm a bit busy. As I expected. Now let's enter the archive. Uh, hey, uh, Gwendus, I'm a bit busy. Is Thank you, Gwendus. Totally not like I was in the middle of battle, battle or anything. The lighting in here is terrible. Hey, I bet that's what we came for. That's done. Hey, why is this trinket over here glowing? Oh, gods. I can't get the smell of the blood off my hands. It was a mercy. You know that. I ruined her, Rodder, body and soul. I played God in this hole to pay the price. I'm a damn fool. A fool once told me there is no such thing as damnation. Only souls who have lost hope. That's not fair, Rodder. You said it with such conviction I could not argue. You have not forgotten our promise, I hope. We'll seek salvation together. Thank you, Rodder. Verandas keeps everyone at arm's length. Is this why? I hope I have enough gold for this. I probably won't. Yeah, I don't have enough gold. Alright, also give me a moment. I gotta see something real quick. Shit, hold on. <laughs> well, welcome to the 420 hour of the uh, <laughs> 420 day stream of. Well, you know, the whole thing is it's. This stream has been live for four, four hours and 20 minutes on t April 20th of the year 2022. And this is probably the only time I'm gonna say that. Again. Anywho. Anywho, I, I was gonna check something real quick. But nah. I, I wanna try to get and get this out of the way as soon as possible. <laughs> Cause reasons. Apparently apparently this quest is pretty long. And there's not a lot of information about this. Plus. In fact, I'm just gonna run past literally everything and hope for the best. I'm just gonna run past literally every encounter I can. Or until I run out of stamina. Because I want to see how far I can get. And also because someone's already doing it already. Someone's already here.
need to make a lot of care. I need to make a lot of experience fast. By the way, the next storyline stream for this character will be well, the major skill storyline. Which, to be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if I'm still on my level 20 gear because. Eh. Also, I think the next time I do a storyline, it'll be a shorter stream series. Maybe a storyline that only has like one zone connected to it. Or maybe a storyline that's like one. Which I really hope I could do that. But knowing me, no. I made some interesting discoveries while I was waiting. Oh, what is it? The Tharzel is more intact than the few other dwarven ruins I visited. I spotted a chamber that appears related to the keystones. But more intact doesn't mean completely intact. The path ahead is blocked. If a path is blocked, how do we get to this chamber? Therein lies the problem. My vampiric abilities make traversal somewhat trivial, but you can't follow. I do believe I've come up with a solution. I see something. Potentially. Theoretically. What's your idea? I noted numerous void portals scattered around the Tharzel. I understand you and I know encountered them before. I'm no expert on teleportation, but these should allow you to navigate the ruins and pick out a safe path. I'll use the void portals before. I've used the void portals before. I'll find my way to the chamber. May I suggest trying to reach the void portal at the top of that tower first? It seems like a good vantage point to survey the layout of this ruin. I'm sure you'll figure out a way past the blockage in no time. Any other advice on reaching the chamber? As Verandis explained it to me, the void portals sort of pull you toward their location. So finding a viable path across should just be a matter of trial and error. Assuming there's a void portal near our destination, you should have no problem. Then let's find a path to that chamber. I, I noticed it literally a moment afterwards. The moment I started talking to him. It worked! I mean, of course it worked. I'll be waiting on the other side. And of course, stop that. And of course, I have to fight. There is that over there, but what is... Okay, so there's that thing over there, but I don't think I can reach it. But there is that portal. I wonder what this is actually doing to my character. Is it messing with her or something? Uh... Okay, um... Uh, I could reach that, actually. If I go over here... I can maybe reach that. Or was it expecting me to go this way? Hmm. Ah, fuck, fuck, fuck. I got this. I guess it's a... I guess I go. Wait, is there a void portal over here somewhere? Or I have to go this way. Oh dear. Jump into a void this area.
But how did the dwarves get over here? Wait, could I get through the wall? Can I go through the walls? Using this portal? Gosh. <laughs> oh dear. Now, I'm gonna go the long way, so over here. I don't care. There were two ways anyways, and mine was the right way. Aha. That's where the enemies came from. Another avoid. What a void werewolf look like. Hmm. Time to wonder. I had every confidence you wouldn't get sucked into some boundless void. The repository is just through this door. Okay. Let's see what we can find. Another one of those things. No, I, I literally saw it. This looks like some kind of manufacturing equipment. Saran's Oromancy, I suspect. Okay. This yeah. is feasible. No, not a merely a possibility, but the soul binding requirement. We can save our kindred from Cold Harbor's torment, and you quibble over the cost? Is your heart so cold? Even if you returned our kindred to life, Molag Ball's claim to their souls would remain. Our contracts are inviolable. Another obstacle to overcome. You think the Prince of Domination is merely an obstacle? Rodda, listen to yourself. Kneeling when I should have stood proud was the greatest mistake I ever made. I will not repeat it. Okay, so... Rodis was aware of this plan, and he was its architect. Huh. I have enough gold, I think. I could fast travel. No, I got plenty of gold. I can fast travel over here now. Actually, where is it telling me to go? Understone Keep. Okay, I can make it. A lot faster if I just fast traveled. Even when I charge my controller completely. Hmm. This might be the longest of the streams this week, most likely. Unless I do a Minecraft tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, so. So if I ever, well, so whatever I stream tomorrow, that'll be a long stream. That'll be a lot shorter than today's stream. That's a shock. God, I just wish this was a shorter one. <laughs> Over here, partner. 
Okay. Well, I've got bad news and worse news. Kadok and I already exchanged words. Most of them insults. The only agreement we came to was that he'd stop sending his stone hands to toss me out if I stopped breaking their noses. You got him a fight with Artotic. It wasn't a fight until he sent his stone hands against me. Wasn't much of one after that, come to think of it. We got as far as Sundered Land when he shouted something about Mana Marco and called up his personal guard. What does Man Marco have to do with all of this? All That's this. what I was trying to find out when Kadok got all angry and said something about my head and a pike on the wall. Look, you talk to him. Maybe you'll have better luck than me. I suppose our Kadok and I have a report? Markarth would be a ghost town if it wasn't for you. If that doesn't earn you the courtesy of an audience, I can go back to breaking noses. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'll present myself to our Kadok. The Ard is in his throne room. We just need to know where to find the land sundered from Tamriel. According to Rada al Saran's letter, it's somewhere in the Reach. Oh, and I'm not apologizing. Not to Kadok, anyway. Sorry. Oh my goodness. Why did you and Tadok argue about? What did you and Tadok argue about? Sorry. Manamarco, Emperor Varen, Nord's Reachman, his flea bitten beard. I can stomach insults hurled at me, but I couldn't stand there quietly as he spoke ill of Baron while praising that traitor Menomarco. Oh my goodness. Okay. Had my fill of Reeker's grace in my presence today. Seeing is how you shed blood for me. And mine, I'll give you my ear. Make it my bile's up, and too much talk will likely make it churn. I'm in search of a land that was sundered from Tamriel. It happened somewhere in the Reach. Ah, you speak with that half-giant's tongue. What business is it of yours? What I do with my land? I gave that parcel to Manamarco years ago. It was his to offer to Molagbal, as he pleased. Why dredge up such dealings now? You allowed a part of your land to be offered to Molag Ball? I didn't know that was the elf's intent when I granted her the domain, but we honor Molag Ball, just like all the great spirits. You won't find many here who deny an offering to a great spirit, no matter how grand. You do know why Man of Marco made th this offering. Mano Marco didn't call me confidant. When he departed, he said the failure here would forge his success elsewhere. I never saw him again. If you want to know his mind, you'll have to see what he wrought yourself. I'll open the way for him. Where can I find the land you gave Mano Marco? To Mano Marco, sorry. There's a lift in Nichuan cell that'll take you to the Sunder. I keep it sealed, for reasons that should be obvious, but I'll see your granted passage. Now, off you go, and take the prickly she-wolf with you. Why did you make a deal with someone like Man Marco? Not so long ago, rich folk ruled the Empire. We had our lands return, and dignity restored. Then, we were driven back into the mud by the usurper. Mana Marco pledged justice for my people if I gave him shelter. A dark spirit's bargain, to be sure. Do you regret the deal you made? No. The usurper, Varen, lost his lands, his throne, and so much more. What Mana Marco promised me was given. If that don't sit well with you, I got no apologies to give. I can only tell you. That's where my dealings with the Worm King begin and end. So. Hmm. Oh, it's it's not over here at all. Okay. Ah, oh dear. <laughs> Besides of that. Got the information we need. Good. Besides that. Besides lunch and. Chips and uh, whatever 
I'm actually kind of hungry. <laughs> oh dear. I will be taking a, a dinner break. If I will be taking another dinner break during the stream, by the way. Whatever that is. Oh dear. Oh dear. Saw some sort of snow or whatever it is. I I suppose the stream. I suppose that So back to the base game for a bit. By the base game, I literally mean not dealing with a lot of vampires for a little while. That feels good. <laughs> for now. I guess this is a failure to bring Cold Harbor. I, or whatever. about tracking a part of Tamriel to Cold Heart or something. I guess this is a partial controlled area of Cold Harbor. At least for now. Um, I actually have no idea what I want to do. That's, I literally have no idea what I want to do for the next series. Obviously for the base game playthrough. Oh, that's going to take forever. <laughs> I will start working on that uh, during the fall. Oh wait, I have Delves and Dragons to finish up. Whatever's left of Delves and Dragons in the first place ever since. <laughs> um, this game, update 33, damaged it. And that's not what it's actually called on the PS4, by the way. That is uh, something else. But, but, uh, but it's still update 33. Regardless. I guess we're gonna destroy these dolmens. Or I guess these prototypes of the dolmens. Yeah, these prototypes. I mean, more experience is more experience. Can't argue with that. I suppose that the is supposed to help me out. I suppose my character did. Well, I'm going to have to make some changes to literally every series. Literally everything. 
which I don't, I'm not a big fan of. I'm not a big fan of literally every change I'm going to do. For, for this game. Rada al Saran. This is our chance. Pity. I wanted Barandas to see this place for himself. They chipped off a hunk of this stone. Hey, there's another memento here. Like the one Fenorian found near Bathar Dams. Are those my notes? Hmm? Barandas, forgive me. As ever, your genius captivates me. I had no idea you made Ooh. such progress. I'm still no closer to a viable solution. You're closer than you think. How can you know that? I discussed your findings with a new ally. They claim it will work. Only your trepidation holds us back. I... I thought you changed. That you sought penance. I won't participate in mass murder! Our dream is within reach, and you're still concerned for the moment. Randis and Rada al Saran Randis. seemed pretty friendly back in the day. Did you know about that? I don't know what a chunk of oblivion or that memento have to do with Rada al Saran's dark storm. But maybe Verandas can explain it when we get back. Speaking of which, did you know he used to be friends with our enemy? We knew Verandas was a part of a great host, but he cut ties with them centuries ago. Then why is Rada al Saran sending cryptic messages to Verandas? Even if he can't win the Count back to his side, these mind games may cloud your friend's judgment. I suggest we keep an eye on the Count, just in case. Just in case, got it. Alright, now we gotta go back all the way to the Order Chamber, which is just a fa fast travel there. Oh, nice. Let's see. Did they? Did hell? I mean, Twitter. All right, hell brought it back. Sorry, I'm talking about Twitter. <laughs> I was just so. Let's check the exclamation point. Twitter, if you want to check that out. Follow me on the Bluebird Hell site, I guess. <laughs> I did say that I'll try to finish this, or this might be the final, but knowing me, this probably won't be. But it's starting to look like it's actually going to be the final part of the stream. Soon. We just have a lot to go. Of course, eventually, yes. there's a lot to do. Give me a moment. I gotta check something. And if I have food, I'm gonna eat food. I'll be leaving the musical talents of this character, I guess.
Okay, I got food. <laughs> but... So that does mean I'm gonna have to take a lunch, dinner break, I guess. And leaving the musical talents of this character's bard talents, I guess. I'll, I'll still play. Still play, of course. But after this dialogue, sure, why not? This is what I gotta do. Any moment now. The past is ancient history. Rodder's intentions were to sway me back to his side. That's not good enough, Captain. Why didn't you tell us that this was all your fault? Father, it wasn't just your research that let him revive the Grey Host. The actual procedure was your creation. You don't understand. Please tell me you found out more about the Dark Storm. The others see conspiracies where there are none. Just past sins that I thought long buried. They say you found everything that Rodder wanted me to discover. Tell me about the Sundered Land, the Night Hollow studies, and the secret of the Keystones. Alright. I found this strange stone at the site where the land was sundered from Tamriel. Remember the journey Rada sent me on? The one you took in my place. It was to follow in his footsteps. To see how he reached this moment in time. The stone, it, it's a shard of oblivion lost in our world. How would that help him save the Grey Host? This is the Night Hollow Testament. It's not written in a language I can read. To see the void through Night Hollow eyes. Yes, it's written in the tongue of the first vampires. I can read it, barely. In addition to other things, this is basically a spell book. It's full of rituals to appease and make use of the Dark Heart. I found this unassembled, unassembled keystone in the ruins. This ruin. Was the point to show me the inner workings of the mysterious Dwarven keystones? We know Rada used one to link the Dark Heart's power to not only the Orrery, but to the Grey Host as well. I can feel the pull of the heart just thinking about it. How does any of this help us stop the Dark Storm? What you discover doesn't tell us much about the Dark Storm, at least not yet. But the picture is beginning to form in my mind. Rodder's letter provided one more clue. He claims to have a laboratory inside this very structure. We just have to find it. Rodder Osran ha has a lab laboratory? I thought he left that sort of things to the others. It's true that Rodder often relied on myself and later Zingalis to handle his research and experiments. But he wasn't without his own skills when it came to Arcana and Alchemy. Arcana. I suppose, during his long isolation, he had to increase his aptitude. Is it safe to leave the Ordery unprotected while we search for the laboratory? Who would remain behind that could stand against Rodder? I fear that even together we would be hard pressed to stop him. We'll need every advantage for the end battle, should it come to that. Perhaps if I can learn how to call upon the darkness. How how are we dealing with your connection to the dark heart? The darkness crashes against my mind like waves slamming so into the shore. <laughs> it can be distracting. I can function normally. The occasional need to pause and let the sensation pass. I can't yet control the darkness, but I haven't been idle. What have you learned? Using my Auromancy, I turned the magic on the Orrery itself. I learned much about how the Orrery operates. It is quite fascinating. I also ascertained the approximate location of Rodder's laboratory, but a more thorough search is required. All right, I will be right back. I'm. Come, well, brave I'm watch, here. Titanborn. We can't let the specters of the past distract us from our mission. All right. Very well, Count. All right. Well, I'll be right back. <laughs> Once, I'll, I'll be right back. I gotta eat food, and then I'll resume the story at a particular moment after the slowed stream, of course.
It won't be long. I do eat fast, but I do gotta be careful because it is Fanta. And I have choked before. <laughs> Almost choked, of course. Uh, I'll do my best. I'll leave you the bardic talents of his character, which barely has any. Uh, I'll be right back. I'll, 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 I'll still play the game. I'm just gonna be muted for a little while. Alright, I'll be right back.
All right. <laughs> I'm done with food. Believe me, I took my time. Uh, if I don't chew rice well, I do choke. So, hello. I'm I'm back from my food break. I, I do interact while eating. Which, by the way, here's the overview of where we are. I just had food. I had a treat. Some Panda Express. <laughs> Anywho. It's, oh, no. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh uh, excuse me. I'll remain by your side as we search. Can you guess his voice actor? Guess the voice actor. Brother has been working in secret for a very long time. His laboratory will no doubt be well concealed. Our search must be thorough. Guess his voice actor and something. I don't know. <laughs> so familiar. I don't know, it sounds kind of I think we're getting closer. dramatic, if you will. <laughs> kind of dramatic, if you will. A hint, if you will. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> kind of kind of like a. She got a second. Rodder has been working in secret for a very long time. <laughs> a certain voice. Ah, uh, where is he? That's voice. That sniper mask. Oh no 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 no! The voice actor is a particular man. A particular man who is popular with furries. That's all you need to know. And I have said who it is, but I'm letting you guess. Why not? Yeah. Uh, it's an anime. Furry anime. That's all the hints I'm gonna give. He also streams here on Twitch, actually, not enough. Beast stars? Yes. Yes, getting warm. <laughs> the voice is in these stars, that's for sure. Yes, yes it is. Count for all this Raven Watch is none other than Nagoshi's. Oh, hold on. Oh, hold on. I'll talk to him in a moment. Right now, we're gonna deal with some some unspeakable evil. But yeah, the VA for Count for all this Raven Watch is. None other than the guy who voices Legoshi and Beastars, the English stuff. Uh, Jonah Scott. Which I didn't know until it's like, really? I, I swear his voice sounded familiar. And only recently I was like, really? It does sound familiar. <laughs> There's a lot of cool EAs in this game. 
a game that I've streamed a few times where you have to be a superstar and stuff, I guess. I actually have streamed uh, Skill Breach. I'm not gonna do that again for a little while. Maybe until DLCs aren't tied to that challenge. But that won't be for a while. I want to completely I want to completely forget about the controls. That's how long. Or until DLCs. Can't really heal. Can't even. Can't even hear him. Actually, oh, also, uh, uh, Jack Goodboy, or, uh, the Jack character, uh, from Beastars, also in this game. Uh, with an unfortunate name, which I can't say. Uh, I could try, but I'm really bad at names, but Ben, Ben Diskin, or Jack from Beastars, or, I, I, I think Young Xehanort or whoever, popular anime, Rudder has been working in secret. whatever, he's also in this game, but kind of harder to find. And we have to go to Rudder's the land of you trip. selfish asshole elves. I mean Somerset, or that. <laughs> well, yes, this I'm gone. I can feel the echoes of Rudder's work here. Rudder has taken my research in directions I never imagined. Dwemer machines, Night Hollow rites, Reach witchcraft, all arrayed around that pedestal. Can you make, can you make sense of it? Yes. I'm beginning to see how the pieces <laughs> you retrieve fit together. He's building uh. a bridge through the void. The Oblivion Shard serves as a lodestone to point to his destination, but Cold Harbor is precisely the place he would want to avoid. Hmm. Why is that? <laughs> Rudder has always sought oh to goodness. escape Mulek's What is that? <laughs> Sorry, I'm paying attention to the dialogue. Cold Harbor is the place where Bol's power is absolute. It makes no sense. Unless Cold Harbor isn't his destination. We gather the others. We need to recreate Rada's ritual. Alright. What do we need to do? Venorian will reproduce the Reach alchemy while Gwendis performs the that? Night Hollow rites. We must manage the Dwemer machines controlling the tonal, etheric, and kinetic energies. I will attempt to scry the stone and direct you accordingly. Oh dear, tell me more about what I need to do. These Dwemer devices, they are similar to pieces of the orrery itself. They manipulate various cosmic forces, um, tonal, etheric, and kinetic, to chart the expanse um, of the void. You must keep these forces under control for my scrying to succeed. How do I do that? The components you retrieved from Bathar Zell showed me that the keystones consist of these same sorts of devices, just on a smaller scale. As I conduct <laughs> the ritual, I'll indicate what parts of the process require your intervention. Be on your toes. What, what are we trying to achieve by doing this? Rada pointed us to the means and <laughs> method of recreating his work. There's something he wants for me to see here. And I believe the only way to truly understand what he's done is by repeating it ourselves. I only hope the risk is worth it. What risk? We are attempting to harness forces never intended to be combined to peer into the infinite, churning chaos we call the Void. I only suggest we try because it appears Rada has proven it can be done. <laughs> Besides, we have no other choice. I have no idea what I'm about to do. Now to begin, start by adding etheric power. Etheric power? Etheric power? Where would that be? Now, quickly. I need more kinetic power. Kinetic power? Okay. Now, some tonal energy. Tonal? Okay, got it. Glad I remembered this. Totally. It's catalyzing too quickly. Quickly, help Fenorian. Up, oh, okay. Dodge Kinetic energy, I need more. Kinetic energy, got it. Need an influx of etheric power. Etheric power, why? Okay, sure. Vengeance needs your 
your help with the Night Hollow right. Oh goodness. Don't worry, I got you. Tonal frequency. Okay, gotta pay attention. We almost have it, just a little more. Uh, what do I gotta do? What do I have to do? I'm losing control of it. Reduce the kinetic energy. Reduce kinetic energy. Got it. The night hollow right is surging. Help, Gwendis. <laughs> oh my goodness. Do I look like I know what I'm doing? No. Harmonics are in discord. Change the output. Oh my goodness. We'll need the alchemical reaction soon. Recalibrate the etheric power. It's too little. Come on. Come on. The mechanism is off balance. Set it right. Come on. I have no idea what I'm doing. We're close. You have Gwendis with the Night Hollow right once more. Oh, come on, this better be it. Catalyze the recount for me now! Okay, this better be it. I can barely hear you. Initiate the tonal cascade and hang on! Tono? Okay. I can see it. I can see everything. <laughs> you okay? He's okay. He's okay. I think he's okay. Rada found it. A piece of land sundered from the reach, caught between Mundus and Oblivion. It is both and neither outside the grasp of Ball, or any prince for that matter. He plans to gift the Grey Host with his sanctuary. For what purpose? Don't you see? In their <sighs> own realm, free from Molag Ball's tyranny, the Grey Host can live forever. And with the connection to Mundus and the power of the Dark Heart, their conquests might never end. And now I see the purpose of the Dark Storm. What do you mean? Uh, the Dark Heart. Rodus drawing on its power. <coughs> I can feel it tearing away to the orrery. Hurry. I'll get to the orrery as fast as I can. To the orrery. Hurry. Oh dear. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just touching stuff, I guess. I don't know. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh dear. This better be. I better be near the end. Well, I'm almost set. Oh, just a portal. Okay. So this way. Oh my goodness. Up. Up. Hold on. Uh. Oh my goodness. Brother, stop! Oh. Don't make me fight you! This is the chance you never thought possible! The door to our salvation stands open for us. Okay. Peace. Come, finish what we started. All will be forgiven. Oh, God, don't do this. Oh, I can the do void it. The energy is consuming you, Verandis. I can show you how to control it. Just follow me. What happened? Where'd the bastard go this time? He's gone, Lyris. Oh, dear. The one place where he can complete his plan. What? What? Are we gonna go there? I understand it all clearly now. Rodda has opened the gateway to his sanctuary. Oh God! In that distant realm, he can summon his dark storm using the power of the dark heart. He'll consume the reach, 
to fulfill his promise. C consume for rich? That doesn't sound good. No. Not good at all. The Dark Storm requires power on an unprecedented scale. Darkness that will cover the reach and send every mortal soul it touches into the Dark Heart. In turn, the power of the Heart will flow through the Orrery to feed the storm. What? But what will the Dark s Storm do? It will tear the Grey Host from Molag Ball's clutches and preserve them for eternity in his sanctuary realm. Oh goodness. Death will become as much a petty inconvenience to them as to any Daedra. They will become truly immortal. How do we stop the Dark Storm? To end the Dark Storm, once it's begun, I need to enter Radha's sanctuary realm and take control of the ritual. I can't ask you to join me, but I won't dissuade you if your course is set. Oh, I'm going in. Just know that I can't guarantee we'll be able to return. How do we enter Radha Alsaran's sanctuary realm? Radha showed us the door, and we forged the key. I have to follow. I have to stop the dark storm. Oh, we're going As in. you have seen from Rodder's Oromatsi, this monstrosity is my creation. Whether you decide to accompany me or not, know that I value our friendship. Rodder has started the ritual in his sanctuary. Oh, I'm realm. coming for you. I can feel the wrong. pull in the darkness. Soon the dark storm will consume the energy in the dark heart. Then more people of the reach will die to feed the heart and power this apocalyptic storm. How do we get how do we get to the sanctuary realm? Rada aligned the orrery in order to make his escape. Use the keystone on the dwarven mechanism that control it. That should open a breach we can travel through. Then maybe I'll have a chance to stop this storm I created. You said the dark storm was is your creation. I never intended my theories to be turned into reality. In my research into a way to grant mortals the same immortality as vampires kept leading down dark paths, I abandoned it. I should have also destroyed it. Roger corrupted it for his own ends. I'll try to... I'll try to open a breach into the void. When you're ready, activate the mechanisms on each of those platforms in sequence. This process should be less risky than what we attempted earlier, I believe. You... you believe? Rudder has already aligned the device to point to our destination. Theoretically, we need only reactivate the ordinary to open the gateway. Be on your guard, nevertheless. I am on my guard. Try to stop me. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's adorable. It thinks it can stop me. Now, talk to our friends. Then? I can almost understand it. Rada al Saran's desire, I mean. The unpleasantries of living with this curse have haunted me a long time. The thought of what awaits me in the afterlife fills me with no less dread. Anyone would seek an escape. Are you tempted by Rada al Saran's offer? I'd be lying if I said no. But the price of salvation is too high. Radha al Saran will doom thousands of souls to fates worse than death so that he and his chosen can escape. I don't need an eternity with that on my conscience. Radha al Saran will answer for all he's done soon enough. You and my father will see this through. I know it. Just come back, all right? You both still owe me a proper reunion. I'll do my best. I'll do all I can to keep the orrery in alignment. 
but I don't know how long it can sustain this. I don't believe it was designed to have this amount of power coursing through it. You're saying it wasn't meant to be a gateway? I'm fairly certain the dwarves built this as an observatory to chart the void. What we're doing is more akin to plunging a telescope into a fathomless depth, so we can slip through the tube without getting wet. Let's hope it doesn't spring a leak. Oh my goodness. This is it, then. Everything that happened in Windhelm, Solitude, and Margarth. It all leads to this, to Radha al Saran. Are you ready to face Radha al Saran? More than ready. I've sworn my blade to thrones and causes, but my blood and bones are Nord. If Radha al Saran thinks he can ravage my homeland and get away with it, he's about to be very wrong. Besides, who else is gonna watch your back? Veranda said we might not come back from this. Trying to scare me off? I know what we're getting into. But if we do get stuck in some lost realm of oblivion, I can think of worse company. Now, let's stop the talk and kill this bastard. Agreed. Can't say I'm looking forward to another romp in oblivion. I've seen enough of the place for ten lifetimes. Let's make this a quick trip, all right? Any guesses as to what... We're charging into? Every place I've visited in Oblivion has been different. Chains and machines for Molag Bal. Endless libraries for Hermaeus Mora. Each realm shaped by its prince. Yeah, yeah. But Radha al Saran shows a place beyond their reach. Guess we'll soon find out. Alright, and Gwendus? You're really just going to hurl yourselves through the void and hope for the best? Seems that way, and yes. I was really hoping Veradas had something tricky up his sleeve. I guess there's nothing left to do but smack Radha al Saran in his self righteous face. You just bring Veradas back. Promise me. I'll do what I can. You better. The only reason I'm agreeing to stay behind is because you're going with him. I can count on one finger the number of people I trust with this. So get this done. We'll be waiting to hear all about it when you get back. Until then, when. When does. Well, this is it. The portal that leads to Radha al Saran, to the Darkstorm, and to the end of all this. Whatever that is. Will you and Fen be alright here on your own? Now you sound like Verandas before a trip. I swear not to wreck the place while I'm <laughs> gone. And if the Grey Host shows up to start trouble, I'll stop them from wrecking it too. So get going already before I change my mind. Okay, you better. You better not make a mess while we're gone. <laughs> we are about to travel into the unknown. Take a moment. Speak to our Done. companions. Make whatever peace will calm your soul. When you're ready, we shall enter the portal together. Oh, let's get this over with. But anything you want to say before we go? I... No. Nothing else needs to be said. Okay, persuade. <laughs> I know this is deeply personal to you. I'm I'm offering to listen. That's all. I have worked all my life to atone for the hubris of my first years as a vampire. Rodda went to great lengths to remind me of my damnation. And I still can't control the darkness racing through my blood. I may not be able to do what must be done. I heard there's no such thing as damnation. Only people who, lo who have lost hope. <laughs> Those words keep returning to haunt me. They never fail to make me feel foolish. Both for having How said them character believe and in? doubting them. Things may look hopeless from here, but there may be a better vantage <coughs> on the other side. Only one way to find out. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be right behind you. The portal into the Dark Heart stands open and waiting. Let's just hope it leads where I think it does. Are you ready to face Radha Asaran? As ready as I can be. I don't have the luxury of walking away this time. Let's get moving. The more active the Dark Heart becomes, the harder it is for me to concentrate. It's like a constant barrage of noise I can't hear, but I can certainly feel. Alright, let's go. I expect you back before Thanorian gets aboard. Don't make me come in there after you. Alright, we're jumping in. Alright. Alright. 
Yeet. Yeet. That's all I gotta say. Yeet. <laughs> uh, no point of return? Okay, yeet. <laughs> Oh wait, there is a there is a way back. Actually, hold on. Ah, probably not the best idea to check my gear. Ow! A repair. Ah, I have one thing to repair my gear. I hope we can enjoy this place for a little while. Back, you bastards. Enjoy this place while we can. There oh. you are. Damn shades are everywhere. Where's Verandis? Come on, up that rise. We'll find him. Oh. Alright, we gotta wait. we gotta fight every shade. Literally everything. This realm is kind of cool, despite. Hmm. It's kind of. Hmm. This. This isn't gonna be our last time here, by the way. This is probably gonna be the last time we're gonna be here with this character. I'm gonna be here with this character, but. For other characters. You don't know how glad I am to see you. <laughs> I just disintegrated someone. I'm glad to see you. <laughs> okay. Gods. In the sky. That must be the dark storm. That. It must lead to Rada al Saran. That can't. Let's follow the storm. Hope that Veronis will do the same. That can't be good. It feels like this realm is unstable. Oh well, we're gonna make it even more unstable in a moment. <laughs> we're about I'm I'm about to once make this realm even more unstable to a point of destruction. Oh wait, no, 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 no. We started this adventure back last month. Glad we're ending it on 420. <laughs> for me at least. Might be 421 for everyone else. But for me it's still 420. <laughs> also This will be the final part. Unless I decide to do an epilogue. Which, given that this is basically almost it. I, don't want to fight you. I can make it short. This area. This area. Okay, so, could I go over here? Can I make my own shortcut? Wow, how rude. I can't go this way. Wow. I guess this is an assault on Grey, Grey Haven. The dark storm must be working. 
Oh, we have a long... We have a large battle ahead of us. We can save... Oh, we don't have to worry much. Although I feel like of all the times I've wasted fighting all these enemies, a lot of people have died already. Yeah. Oh dear. Wait a minute. Oh, that's not until... Okay, Void Essence. I'm collecting every Void Essence as I can. No reason why. I just don't, I like to collect stuff. Oh! Oh, I'm not gonna use a D. This whole series started with me using a D. A D. One of those Dungeons and Dragons die. Now it's ending with me just transforming at will. Anytime I feel like it. It's probably. The Don't worry, we're on our way, Verandas. Don't worry, I'm on my way. We're on our way, probably. I'm just gonna need the, the boost of energy. Alright. Okay, we got a score to settle. We have a score to settle. Oh, I have nothing special. Not yet. Actually. Hmm. I wonder what void... stuff from a void tastes like. Hey, I'm a werewolf. I, I have to consume to keep the form up. I have to wonder what things I'm eating taste like. Obviously, these things are like eating a rod and corpse, which I imagine is not that good. But as long as the werewolf is having a fun time, I guess. We're almost there. I may have wasted my werewolf. Yeah, I wasted my werewolf. Ah, don't worry, I have round two. Oh, well, I transformed. Oh dear. Your dream was never mine. It ends here. Verandis, we are nearly free. Verandis! Join our forsaken kid in Molot Ball's teeth, you traitor! Oh. Everything you cherish. Oh, I'm going to enjoy this, you bastard! 
The real battle begins. That's the final boss of the storyline. Rada Asura. Is it your intention to form? No. This is the sword that split Letty's blade, reforged in bitter blood. You will taste it soon. Oh, oh my goodness. Pity. How is it you aspire to be more than Keep your distance? Me who literally doesn't use magic too much. I owe you a for every one of my folly. This might be personal to you, but I have Okay, this is a bit This is a bit personal for me too. Yeah, this is a bit personal. I'll draw the boundaries of my kingdom with your blood. Okay. But what if... Alright. I'm going to save you. You are going to die by this way. Ow, woo. Ow, woo. You possess all the skill of a child. I'm literally a wo- An arm, an eye. Ah, uh, yes. A werewolf possesses the skill. This is the best you could muster, Morandis. You're talking smack to a werewolf. <laughs> He's brave. He's a brave. He's very brave. Okay. This better be a good plan. Okay. A lot easier when I'm literally a wolf. This is a lot easier when I'm just a werewolf. Because I require food to keep, to keep this form for this whole fight. March, my feet, and win your salvation. Can I fight the big werewolves now? 
the big werewolves. Come on. Come on, hurry. This is the only thing keeping me from... I can also handle this. Just make this fight easier. Also, thank you. Thank you. I will conquer. Or I should say, I will conquer more for what? A wolf. Ker, bark, bark, wolf, ker, bark. Sigh. <laughs> Come on. A woo, a woo, go stream. Or a woo. How can you turn the dark heart against me? A woo. Uh oh. This can't be good. Um, oh, hold on. I'm on the verge of transforming back to a human. Ah, fuck. It's a bigger, it's the larger werewolves. It's the big one, it's the big one. Very large werewolf. Look how small I am compared to this werewolf behemoth. I love them. Come here. <laughs> Ow woo, ow woo. Leggies, I don't have to be a werewolf anymore. It's over. Goodbye, Roger. I wish I could have found salvation for you as well. Oh, now what? The dark storm rages. I must take control. It will kill you! If I don't stop the dark storm, then my death will be the least of our worries. Alright, what do you gotta say? God! Power! It's everything Rother said it would be! Alright. You and Lyris must go. While I still possess the power of the Dark Heart, I can open a gateway to the Orrery. Return home. You are to come in. I can only control the Dark Storm from here. I understand now what must be done to stop it. I can use the power of the Dark Heart one last time. When I am finished, the energy will be gone, and our gate to the Orrery will be closed. You understand? There's no other way? Not any that can make everything right. I brought about this tragedy through my naivete, through my selfish desires, 
from my damn ideals and curiosity. It's my time of reckoning, not yours. I understand. All right. What do you gotta say, Lyris? Feels like I got stepped on by a mammoth, but I guess that means I'm alive. What? What's going on? Why is the dark storm still going? When Veranda stop, when Veran Veranda stops it, he'll be trapped here. He's staying behind. Damn. I take back every bad thought I had about the Count. He's got conviction to match Sai Sahans. We should go while he's still got the strength to send us back. All right. Goodbye. Goodbye, Count Veranda's Raven Watch. This is farewell. I don't want to owe you, Verandas. Have faith. <laughs> Roda's last gift was hope. Oh dear. Oh dear. You're back. But where's Marcus? He's staying behind. I'm sorry. He's staying. No. He promised. He promised me. It was the only way to. Look out! The Dark Heart! Verandas must have done it. He stopped the dark storm. Oh. 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 I. I can breathe. I'm alive. Oh. Yo. I'm no illusion. Flesh and blood. Alive as can be. How can that be? I can't say myself. I remember being here. In this room, I remember the wound, then nothing but a cold, icy current dragging me under. I drowned for so long, until a warm hand fished me out. Who? Who? I couldn't see. Everything was just warmth and light. There was a voice, though, guiding me, calling me back. It sounded Rabbit. like Verandas. Rabbit. Sorry, I can't really do Jonah Scott's voice, but Verandas brought you back to life. As I live and breathe, it was Verandas who led me here. I don't understand much of what occurred, but of that, I'm certain. That, and they didn't come back alone. You're saying the others came with you? Oh. There were a great many others droning in that icy current. I'm certain I wasn't the only one pulled ashore. It's just a feeling, but a strong one. I want to see if that feeling speaks true. About the last time we saw each other. You did what you thought was best, and the price I paid has been returned. None of us could have imagined this is where our path would lead. But I've no complaints with the outcome. No complaints at all. Where are you headed? Markarth. That's where the spirits call me now. I have no fondness for the place, but that's where my people need me. Well, what do you gotta say, Lyris? Did I hear you right? Verandas brought that woman back to life? Not just raised her from the dead, actually restored her body and soul? That's what Arana claims. Was that what the Count meant by making it right? He didn't just stop the Dark Storm. He used it to free the souls from the Dark Heart. We've got to get to Markarth. Why the sudden urgency? Isn't that where Rada Al Saran harvested souls for the Dark Heart? If Barandas released them all, maybe Arana's right and she didn't come back alone. That's something we should see for ourselves. I understand. You go on ahead. Ben and Gwendis could use a moment. I'll make sure they make it to Markarth safely. Do you really think Verandas could restore Markarth? Just bringing one person back should be impossible, sort of divine intervention. But we saw the Grey Host manage it more than once. 
If the Dark Storm was anything like the Harrow Storms in Western Skyrim, it just might be possible. All right. What do you gotta say? Just go, please. And what do you gotta say, Fen? I hope you're right. If Father managed to undo some of the harm the Greyhost caused, I know he'd be at peace with himself. Wherever he is. All right. So, Arana, I think that's her name. How does says say her name? She died a few hours ago, actually. Uh, when I had the whole insulting thing with the whole fight with the, uh, chocolate seeds candy ice cream thing. Not ice cream, uh, the seeds candy lollipop thing. Like, if you have no idea what they are, they're like these chocolate bars or candy bars that seeds make. It's too crun hard on the teeth. And, and you're supposed to suck it, really. I'm not gonna suck it. Well, I did. I mean, I sucked it during the whole stream, during the whole fight with Elaine. I think that's how I say her name. Great. Just because I haven't heard her name in a while, I already forgot how to say her name. Oops. My bad. All right, so. I did miss out on one storyline, but hey, it doesn't matter. Alright, so let's see. Uh, where was it? Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, so skip some pages. So, the Reach story. Obviously, when I refer to the Reach story, I also include the prologue. So. What plus line we're on right now? I I also have a part of the storyline. However, after this, the entire storyline for Half Vile Starcart is complete. That kind of only leaves one thing left, but I think I can do it either on stream, next stream, or maybe another time. But really, Have Vile Stark Heart is done. We finished it. Have Vile Stark Heart is over after this storyline. After the next quest. And I really hope, because of account wide achievements, I don't miss out on a particular dialogue with Verandas one last time. Because <sighs> I heard it's like an interesting conversation and a. Uh, Perfect little thing. The end, the kingdom of, of Ash. And then second chances. I have two. All right, so we're almost done here. Once and for all. At least for a while. None of these weak strangers and I still have one more storyline left, which can serve as an epilogue, really. Which, given that I should have finished it during the storyline, it was a dwarven ruin with a Dusodaro, I believe. That's how you say her name. What is it? But hey. Okay. Okay. Soft guitar. Or if it whole music. The dead oh. return to life. By Harsin's hinds, I still can't believe it. Aye. Two of my clan among them. Still akin to a dream for all of us. Oh hey, you're alive. Aye, a pleasant one from which I hope we never wake. Or a few minutes yet, at least. Wait, hold up. Are you two talking? But oh yeah, they were talking about the progression of the storyline. Where's that other guy? Not 
nearly enough Malakath warshippers here in Markarth. I aim to change that. <sighs> okay. Welcome back to the land of the living. Okay. Oh. Oh, everyone's not here. <gasps> oh. I went the wrong way. Oh, I definitely went the wrong way, I think. Um, was this supposed to be where I was supposed to go? I swear to God. Oh, I was supposed to go this way. Oh, I get another quest line. Nice. Or daily. Wait a minute. Weren't you the one who died? How did she get over here? Uh, where are you, Lewis? I was hoping. You hear that? Markarth is celebrating. Oh, there you are. Hey. <sighs> that magnificent bastard really did it. He brought them back. He said Rada gave him hope. Do you think this is what he meant? The Count enjoyed his mysteries, but yeah, I think so. When we started this, I thought the best we could do is pay Al Saran back for the lives he stole. I guess I should oh, have set shit, my sights sorry. higher. What's next for us? We rest. With Rada Al Saran dead, the Grey Host is finally buried for good. We couldn't have done it without you, partner. So eat, drink, find some company for your bed. Tomorrow, tomorrow, we'll probably have to do this all over again. <laughs> Be pro. It may seem odd coming from a Nord. But I'm glad to see all these Reach folk alive and well. They seem content. Nice. But I'm sure they wouldn't mind us bringing them a few more reasons to celebrate. What do you mean? News of Rada Al Saran's death won't compare to the dead returning to life. But I'm sure Kadok will be relieved to hear it. You find the Ard and let him know there's nothing to fear from the Grey Host anymore. Tell him he has Verandas to thank. Aren't you coming? Why spoil the mood? I think. I'm going to take a moment. I haven't done that since Fenorian and I arrived in the Reach. Are you, are you all right? Just fine. Even the great Lyris Titanborn needs a rest sometimes. Don't tell anyone. Uh, I'm good. <laughs> I should be good. This cannot be allowed to continue. Seeking adventurers to help them reach. Finally, someone who looks strong enough to actually help. Wow. Literally everyone wants to say. Everyone wants to talk to me, it seems. Although, I have missed out on one thing, but hey. Eh, oh well, it doesn't matter. I have literally did... I did basically everything already, so it doesn't matter. Look! Look! Can you believe it? There's life to the keep again! Ha! That's your doing, isn't it? The Ard seems to think so. He'll want to see you. He's holding an audience in his war room right now. What's oh. this about a war room? Ah, you're here too, she... Titanborn. You come with me. I have a message for your ears alone. 
Fine. But if this is Kadok's idea of a joke, you won't find it funny. Okay, what do you got to say, Brandon? Good to see you alive and well. Well, it's right good to see everyone alive and well. I don't know to what gods we should be giving our thanks, but I wager we all owe you a good portion. You can thank Ferrandus. He was able to restore your, their lives after we defeated Rada al -Saharan. We owe you for delivering Malakas' vengeance to that toothy bastard. Where is Count Ferrandus? I'd like to give him my proper thanks. Ferrandus stayed behind to save your people. He what? He... I cannot find my words. I don't know whether to mourn his loss or celebrate what he gave us. You should tell the yard. He'll want to pay respect of his own, I'm sure. Okay. What do you gotta say, Lyris? You go on and speak to Kadok. I'll see what's so important that your friend here has to tell me in private. What message? What message do you think Brad, Brandon wants to t deliver? I think that's how you I say imagine it. the only message the Ard wants to share with me is of the unflattering variety. So <laughs> I have no oh, idea. Maybe. maybe the Scald King sent word? When I know, you'll know. All right. War room. Glad I'm a I'm actually able to go over. Glad I'm able to go over here without. Oh wait, never mind. Never mind. I apologize. We are agreed. If Eastern and Western Skyrim can put aside their differences in the face of the Grey Host, then the Reach can do so as well. Come forward, free hand. No need to bow for the sake of kings. What do you gotta say, Jarl Swana? You seem more comfortable standing among kings and Jarls than I do. <laughs> then again, you always did. It's good to see you again. What brings you to the Reach? Western Skyrim has begun to recover. With Fen's elixir, our soldiers have been able to push back the Grey Host. I know the Reach has not been so fortunate. I persuaded Prince Ernskar and the Skald King to offer our support. What do you plan to do? I expected we'd be sending soldiers, but by the time we arrived, the people were dancing in the streets. I always heard stories of the City of Stone being a dark place where flint-hearted Reachmen worship strange gods. It's not so different from home. How are things in Western Skyrim? The people seem happier than I've ever seen, in spite of all our hardships. I wasn't the only one living under my father's shadow, apparently. I can't come and go as I please, but the Blue Palace is lively as any tavern with Mog around. <laughs> oh my goodness. You brought Mog to this place? To the place? Made palace? him my royal taster. <laughs> I don't think the thought of being poisoned even crossed his mind, but he seems happy so long as the food and drink keeps coming. <laughs> Unofficially, he's also the jester, but don't tell him I said so. <laughs> My lips are sealed. Chat, your your lips better be sealed as well. <laughs> Thank the gods we have better matters to attend to than the deployment of troops and suspicions of treachery. For a man called Despot, the Ard is in an agreeable mood. But that's not your concern. It's good to see you once more. What brings you... And the Scout King to Markarth. Truthfully, Spana, when we learned that Markarth suffered an attack like the one you narrowly prevented in Solitude, she insisted that we offer aid, ostensibly to stop the Grey Host. But it seems we're a bit late for that. There are many. There are. There are many still. There may still be remnants that pose a threat. No doubt. They have proved very skilled at keeping to the shadows and biding their time. Hunting them down will not be easy. But I feel that's not how best to make use of the opportunity we've been given. What do you mean? The Grey Host's greatest weapon against us was our mutual mistrust. They preyed on our suspicions and fears, used our division to pick us apart one by one. The best way to prevent that from happening again will be to build trust and cooperation. So, you're f you've formed an alliance? An accord at least. It's a step in the right direction. I wish you luck. Trust takes time to build. But we must start somewhere. I couldn't have done it without Svana. Uh, Jarl. Svana. 
Watching her put aside past differences between Eastern and Western Skyrim for the sake of her people has made quite an impression on me. You seem to hold Sw Swana in high regard. Well, yes, I do. She's a striking woman. A, a bigger. Leader. Yeah. She's won many hearts and minds in the short time she's been a Yar. I think that speaks more to her esteem than my praise. Western Skyrim would do well to put her in charge. Will your father allow enough will your father allow another ruler to control the West? He doesn't want another war on his hands, and the Western Holds still desire their independence. Skyrim won't be united by force, but with more days like today, the province may one day be whole, no matter how many kings claim it. And Jordan. Whenever I see you, I know that Skyrim is in good hands. What are you doing here, King Jorn? This business with the Grey Host is far from over. As long as Skyrim is threatened, I will be close by to lend a hand. Still, this... This is... Still, this is far from your holdings. The Reach is far from everyone's holdings. This Grey Host business started with me, though. And I always intended to see it through to the end. Thankfully, we prevailed this time. Are you, are you here to take over the Reach? I have no desire to replace a despot. Haven't these people suffered enough? In any event, my forces are stretched too thin to take on much more. If the people request help, however, I will put whatever resources I can at their disposal. Why, why are you so willing to help people who consider you their enemy? Shores bones. Why does everyone insist on seeing ulterior motives behind every kind act? Can't a king just be a nice person? <laughs> oh my someone has to extend the hand of friendship before it can be grasped. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Besides, helping the reach helps all of Skyrim. Do you think Svana is ready to become ruler of Western Skyrim? I do. She's an impressive young woman. Oh my goodness. Is Western Skyrim ready for Swana? That's the more pertinent question. Solitude shuns the outside world, while Swana reaches for it. We'll have to see how that works out in the end. All right, now, time for... Hello. If you'd said only yesterday I'd play host the Nord rulers from across all Skyrim, I'd have told you the dead would live again before that happened. <sighs> And here we are. <laughs> a day of miracles. Tell me truthful. You had a hand in all this, I eh? I killed Rada Asaran and Verandas restored the lives lost to the Dark Heart. Alas! The monster that nearly brought my lands to ruin has paid the price for his wrongs. I could ask no more. And yet that which was taken has been returned as well. Where is Count Ravenwatch? If he thinks to escape my gratitude... Not now... Why? Fucking why? Uh, sorry, just some fa real life stuff. Uh, Verandas had to stay behind to return the souls of your people. Hmm. Then, his name and deeds will echo these halls for as long as I sit upon the throne. Which will be a while yet, thanks to you both. And so long as these Nords are good to their word. I've no idea what peace is like. But I'm eager to find out. What sort of agreement have you reached with the Nords? We treat for peace. Our battles with the Grey Host have ravaged all our kingdoms and peoples. We each seek to rebuild and recover. Perhaps we'll do so together. At least we'll keep out of each other's way. Before we proclaim, I have a favor to ask. What do you need? I've need of a counselor. In spite of her treachery, Lady Belaine was a canny advisor. I need that again now, more than ever. Tell the witch, Arana, that I will offer her my ear, if she will share her wisdom. I hear she's recently arrived to my keep. 
What are your plans for Markarth now that there's peace? It's a worthy holdfast, but not so much a city. I would have the land worked, the stone repaired, and the markets expanded. But these are not things my kin have much knowledge in, but perhaps the Nords will share their trade for the right price. So, so tell me your thoughts on the, the other rulers here. Hmm. Well, they're a fair lot more agreeable than the she-wolf you travel with. Tell me. Have the sense to show deference to a king in his own hall. Though I heard enough hundred words from the Lady Belaine for one lifetime. The fat one thinks himself a poet. What do you think of Skald King Yorn? <laughs> Skald King. Nonsense. Every now and then comes a king of his kind. One who makes stirring pronouncements and promises that his court must struggle to keep. His grand words lack guile, so I wager. He can be trusted. What do you think of Yar what do you think about Jarl's fauna? The past would tell me to hate Svartigrim's wealth with all my vigor. We've battled and bled for more generations than I can count with her ilk. But this fledgling speaks plain and honest. When she talks of new beginnings, I believe her. What about King Prince this person? <laughs> I heard Yorin sired the boy when he was young, but looking at the pair, I have a hard time saying who's father and who's whelp. Ernskar seems beautiful, but his father casts a long shadow. A wide one, too. This? <sighs> if you must. Can't have in you thinking me ungrateful. So, so you're making peace with Arana, too? Aye, I suppose so. Film. Can't just lop off her head after she got it back. Wouldn't do for morale. <laughs> Unless she's determined to keep up her fight with me. I'm willing to put the past to rest. But besides, I already made peace with the rest of her rebels. All right. <sighs> One of these days. My ears are burning. Is that my name on the wind? Not even this gloomy old stone keep can dampen my spirits. My dreams hold true. Markarth is alive with joy. But you didn't approach to listen to me. What is it you wanted? Arkadic wants to know if you're willing to, to become his new counselor. I'm barely foot to stone and he's clamoring for my attention. I had no mind to stand by a throne when I first started my journey. Now, here we are. The Reach has suffered so much. I want to help restore the land. Aye, I'll serve. I'll give him your reply. I can speak for myself. You have more important matters to attend to. There's a friend who's journeyed a long way to thank you personally for all you've done. It would be rude to keep him waiting. Alright, where can I find them? There's an out-of-the-way chamber in the rear of the keep where you can meet. Now, I should find the art and make sure he thinks before he speaks. Can you tell me more about this friend you want me to meet? <laughs> Aye, I can. But I won't. I'm enjoying the suspense. Off with you. Okay. But who is it? I'm sorry to have kept you waiting, my friend. Oh! You forgive my ghastly appearance. Oh. It seems I spoke too soon when I bade you a final farewell. Oh. oh. I'm glad to have the opportunity to see you again, my friend. None of this would have been possible without you. I, I, I thought you stayed behind. As did I. When I took hold of the Darkstorm's power, I believed it would be the last thing I ever did. It was a force. No mortal hands should wield. Still, with it, I was able to draw the souls out of the Dark Heart. Return them to where they belonged. Was that how you made it back? No. As the last of the Dark Heart's power ebbed away, 
I should have been trapped in Rado's sanctuary realm. But I was forced out. Pushed, I'd say. I fell into the darkness of the slumbering heart. Then I emerged from it, like a moth from a cocoon. How so? My soul became part of the dark heart, smelted inextricably into the fabric of its existence. So long as it remains dormant, its hold over me is tolerable. But I am bound to it nonetheless. What will you do now? If I am to be wed to this power, then I must ensure that it never gets used again. For that to happen, both the heart and I must fade into obscurity. House Ravenwatch will carry on without me. Arana will send them here to receive the news soon. I see. I have no regrets. You gave me the opportunity to reckon with my past and pay penance. This journey has brought closure to the life of Count Verandis Ravenwatch. I have a fresh start. As do we all. The kings are soon to speak. You should be there. Well, I see you again. I have no idea what the future holds, but you seem to be the axis upon which this world turns. If it still has some use for me, I'm sure our paths will cross again. Until then, my friend. Farewell. Alana said they'd be this way. Come on. Father. You. They said you were gone. I was. And I will be again. We have much to discuss, but I will not be returning to House Ravenwatch. But... Uh, who will... You three have no more need of a guardian. It's time I put the future of the Ravenwatch in your hands. But you'll still visit, right? Every chance I get. All right. What about you? Five Claw, it... Adusa heard that Barandis had been imprisoned in the void, but he's here. Uh, forgive me. I am glad to see you. It has been too long since our paths crossed. Are you ready to lead? Are, are you ready to lead the Raven Watch? There was a time when this one felt more like a nursemaid than compatriot to those two. But Wendis and Fenorian are no longer helpless kittens. Count Barandis need not worry. Medusa stands firm. House Ravenwatch will endure. Without Ferrandis, what will happen to the... What will happen to the Ravenwatch? House Ravenwatch has a long and noble ah, tradition. Words. This one will run the estate in Count Ferrandis's absence. She has done so before. As for the Ravenwatch, our work will continue. Gwendis is coming into her own, and Fenorian shows promise. Oh dear. What do you gotta say, Gwendis? Here and gone. Here and gone. It's cruel to play with a girl's heart like this. But I'm glad Verandas kept his promise. Ugh! I'm having too many feelings right now. How do you feel about leading... How... How do you feel about leading the Ravenwatch? Great! Terrible. Everything in between. I've waited so long for Verandas to stop hovering over my shoulder. But I never thought it would be because he's not around. I realized something, though. When you and Lyris told me he wasn't coming back. Oh? I can't shed tears for him. It's not what he needs from me. He needs someone to carry on after him. To do the work he can't anymore. So that's what I'll do. Keep his legacy alive. Somebody has to keep tabs on all those pesky vampires. Let me know if the Raven Watch needs my assistance again. Don't think it's just for Andas I expect to visit. It'd be nice bumping into you somewhere other than a moldy cavern once in a while. Don't make sense. Castle Raven Watch is always open to you. It's not like we have a shortage of guest rooms. I'll remember that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to give Arandas an earful. I think I heard the Ard calling for you when we were talking to Arana. They're making some proclamation in the audience chamber. Don't Better not miss your accolades. Hey, Fen. I... I don't know what I expected when Arana said there was someone waiting to see us, but I never... I thought he was gone. I don't think there's anything left that could surprise me today. Forget I said that. Better not tempt fate. You seem troubled. Uh, no, no, I... 
Don't mean to give the wrong impression. It's all just a bit much. Maybe I should sit down. Did he really say he wants us to take over the Raven Watch? He did. Right. I didn't imagine it. The truth is, we were already considering the future of the Raven Watch after you returned without Verandas. It seems that will bear further discussion. But I'm relieved that the circumstances are different. You'll do... you'll all do fine, I'm sure. Your endorsement gives me confidence. Though we were hoping you'd consider joining our ranks, officially. Given everything you've done for the Raven Watch, it only seems right that we consider you one of our own. That is, if you want. I'm honored. Welcome to the Raven Watch. Oh. I suppose that makes me your superior now. I'll try not to let it go to my head. Oh my goodness. I actually have your first assignment, if you're ready. Alright, what's my assignment? You're to endure as much of the cheer and praise as the Ard and his people can <laughs> heap upon you. And you're to have absolutely nothing to do with evil vampires for at least, I don't know, a day? Think you can manage that, recruit? I think I can, unless I do another quest. Remember, you're representing House Ravenwatch now. Consider this a diplomatic mission. I believe the Ard was calling for you when we spoke to Arana. He was headed to the audience chamber with the other rulers, last I saw. Alright. You know, because of the Rivenspire questline, I have a feeling this would fuck him fuck this over. <laughs> or... Oh, also, not just Legoshi. Kellen Goff over there? That's actually oh, Kellen Goff's singing oh, voice. Uh, then there's Ben Diskin and some other VAs that I care, kind of care about. Some I don't really care much about anymore <laughs> because of their. Mm. Oh, hello! I thought you might enjoy a welcome surprise for once, Snow Lily. Oh, Sai. Who, you who always are you? Know how to... Oh, uh, hello, partner. So you're the partner that Lyra speaks so highly about. I'm glad to know she had such a stalwart ally during her time in Western Skyrim. It is an honor to meet you. What brings you to Skyrim? I heard that Lyris was investigating some sinister plots in this province. Were it not for other obligations no less dire, I would have rushed here sooner. I envy you. There's nothing I would have liked more than to battle a sword saint by her side. Sword saint? Rada al Saran was an ansei of great renown. A legend to rival Leki herself. The Sword Saints are a lost legacy to my people. It's a shame that Al Saran did not devote himself to restoring that honorable tradition instead of his monstrous grey host. What will you do now that the fight is over? Lyris has offered to show me some of the more intact barrows in the Reach and Western Skyrim. These sites are tied to ancient dragon cults. Dragons are something of a hobby of mine. Yep. What's she gonna say, Liz? Didn't expect you'd find me here. Thought this spot was a little more private. This is Sai Sahan. He's a friend. A close friend. We used to travel together with Emperor Varen before things went horns up. What was what, the message earlier from him? Braden said there was a strange red guard looking for me. When I laid eyes on Sai, I didn't know whether to punch him or hug him. It was quite the surprise, but Same not thing. a bad one. We've got a lot of catching up to do. Will you, will you two be traveling together? I'd say being home has been nice, but you know I'd be lying. The Scald King owes me some rest. I think we'll take our leave of Skyrim and spend some time free of obligations. I always wanted to go back to Skingrad. Safe travels, then. People like us can't stay out of trouble very long. <laughs> so let's share a few casts of mead while things are quiet. Oh, Caddick's looking for you. He and the other rulers want to make some big announcement. I'll be along in a moment. Have you met with Svana or High Scout King Gorn? I haven't, but I'm sure you can keep them busy for a while longer. Right, partner? 
Sai and I still have a few dents to bang out of my armor. I'll go see. I'll go see about this announcement they are making. Oh, um, I I kind of have to wonder how the whole main quest because these two characters right here are the main care are part of the main character squad. Lyris and Sai Sahan are both major characters in the storyline. Oh, and you also have the opportunity to sacrifice them, I guess, at the end of a main quest. But really, it's all pointless, so... Kind of spoilers, but hey, it doesn't matter. I plan on... I, I plan on doing the main quest eventually. But not right now. Not right away. Okay. Finally! The guest of honor has arrived. Let's have a word before we begin. All right, what do you got to say? Not a moment too soon. Kadak's eager to demonstrate that he's the equal of any Nord king. He hopes it will legitimize his claim as king of the Reich. He's not wrong, but he'd look more a fool if I weren't here to keep his temper on a leash. Seems like you're already... Seems like you're already a helpful advisor. That I am. It's a new dawn. For me, for Markarth, for the Rage. After all you've done to bring it back from ah. the brink of oblivion. Putting up with Kadok's arse-headed notions is the least I can do to make sure it wasn't wasted effort. Does that mean... Does that mean you're getting along? <laughs> Let's not stretch the bones of reason. <laughs> There'll be no shortage of bickering and cursing in our future. But there's trust. So long as we both want what's best for the Rage. That'll do. Best to see him now. I can see him casting glares our way. I'll speak to him. I'll speak with him. Ard Kadok. Hey, how's it going? Fair adventurers. <laughs> Come and go as you please. Keep three kings and a Jarl biding on their thumbs in a crowded hall. <laughs> Suppose you've earned that right, Rover. Near everybody in this room wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. I did what I had to. Simply put, I... I like that. In doing what needed doing, you brought all the crowns of Skyrim to one hall. You put the Grey Host back in the ground, and you gave us clear skies. At last, we can see where we must go. Take this with all our thanks. All right. Okay. Free hands of Markar, you long-suffering lot. I call my kin. We've survived another long night, darker than we've ever known. But we did not endure it alone. Against the Grey Host, we found unlikely allies and put aside old grudges. Together, we not only survived, we flourished. We owe these miracles to the efforts of all kinds. Reachmen, Nord, Vampire, Outlander, heroes of every stripe. Let us follow their example. We have warred together. We celebrate together. Let us rebuild together. From this day forward, we clash mugs instead of swords. Peace and prosperity to all our kingdoms. Cheers to the heroes of Skyrim. Let us remember them with song and drink. We, the children of Skyrim, we shall endure. And that is... All right. Note to self, I gotta mark all this stuff down later. I cannot think of a time or a tale <sighs> where a reach folk and Nord extended a hand to one another and lest each was holding a dagger. This may be the first time such a thing's occurred. May it not be the last. Do you believe this peace will last? Much as anything can. Stone crumbles. Forests burn. Even Daedra die now and again. This life's a struggle. The only thing that's changed is what we struggle against. The peace will last so long 
as we fight for it. And will you? Aye. We've trod in circles with blood and raid clawed our eyes for as long as anyone can remember. But just now, we've glimpsed a new path of this endless trail of suffering. Peace is on the horizon. And we're for it now. With all we've got. Alright. And that has been the Dark Heart of Skyrim storyline. However, there is still one last thing I do gotta make sure still works. Otherwise, a Counter Achievement skin goes straight to hell for all I care. And take that as you will, like a count wide achievements can go to straight to hell. Take that as what I'm planning. Uh, so there is one person that I could technically talk to, but because of account wide achievements and all that fun stuff, I, I just hope I could speak with him. Which again, that's gonna totally fuck up everything. <laughs> That's gonna fuck up the continuity of the major storyline. <laughs> uh, so... Verandas himself... Um... Verandas himself... Does return at the end of... Uh, or... Here, in Rivenspire. A zone we were at at the start of this storyline. Uh... Up next is uh, Lyris and Sai Sahan. Main quest Lyris, obviously, for this storyline for sure. Uh, Sai Sahan, main quest, and the Season of Dragons or the Elsewhere event storyline. I, I just hope this works. I just hope I didn't fuck myself over doing this. Thank you, Account Wide Achievements. You are amazing. I love you and fuck you, Account Wide Achievements. Fucking Account Wide Achievements, I swear to God. Ruined probably what could have been a a perfect send off for. Or maybe it wasn't here. It, it was probably right there. I, was it there or was it here? No, it, it was there. I remember the railings over there. But, seriously, fuck the Count Wide Achievements. Fuck this update. Fuck update 33. Fuck whatever update this is on the PS4. Fuck this update for whatever it, it, it is on the PlayStation 5, at spots, etc. Fuck update 33. Fuck the Count Wide Achievements. It ruined probably one of the best epilogue moments ever. Thank you. Fuck you, account wide achievements for that. <laughs> okay, so why am I so pissed off? Um At the conclusion of the quest I just did uh second chances. Um Oh wait, it was not over here. Oh. oh wait. No, yeah, it was here. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, fuck the count wide achievements. It was right here. It was supposed to be right here. Count Verandas Raven Watch should have spawned right here. But no! Update 33 had to ruin that fucking moment. So yeah, I'm a bit angry about that, and yes, I, I'm not going to apologize for me being angry about this update. It ruined a rather somber yet good moment because, oh hey, we don't want our players to miss out on stuff. Yeah, guess what? I missed out on this and thing with this character. Fuck you, account wide achievements. Fuck you, Zenimats Online, for that. Still, though, this is where my whole comic is coming into play of what I think should have been account-wide achievement based versus character bound. Obviously I think this moment here any quest progression should have been character only. Character bound. 
not account why. And I guess the only other time I can experience this moment again is if I create a new account on my PS4, install or get a new PS4, whatever, then play this whole moment on the channel, on a different account, on a different character that could be my main, and do that storyline. However, I'm not going to do that. There's obviously YouTube or whatever, but honestly, I wish I could have done that here. Fuck account wide achievements. Fuck this. Fuck this update. <laughs> we, we don't want our players to miss out on inspiration. Fuck you. You 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 want to kill any re possibility of replay re replaying this game. And I know that people are like, oh, what's the big deal? MMOs have this all the time. I I honestly think the way they implemented it is shitty, and the update itself isn't the best. <sighs> Being over here pisses me off anyway, so I'm gonna leave. A nice moment ruined by a... a shitty update. Uh, why don't I go somewhere else? How about a new home I have? I do want to show this off on stream. There we go. Yeah, I am gonna be bitter about this. Also, uh, so this was a player home I had. I have. It was abandoned. It barely had anything on it for a while. However, I did some work. I, I thought on stream I showed off. <laughs> you probably saw pictures on my Twitter. Exclamation point Twitter for that, or just click the link. Uh, so here it is. This entire player home perspective of this character. I I had a lot of crowns, I made a lot of this with my own resources, and I bought it with other currencies. This is a player home I've wanted to work on for a little while, but I didn't get around to it until much, much recently. <laughs> the food's looking a lot better more and more with each update. <laughs> Funny enough. So yeah, this is the player home I have that I worked on. You probably saw pictures of it on Twitter. Yeah, it was a nice little home and... In hindsight, I wish I moved this, the money and... Ah, screw it, I'll move it over here. I'll move this stuff right now while here. There we go.
<sighs> I obviously did not ask for this. I did not ask for account wide achievements. In fact, I was just happy with how the. Th Dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah, this is probably the angriest you've seen me about account wide achievements. I, and believe me, it's not going to be the last time. Thanks to account wide achievements. <sighs> I'm too angry to do the other stuff. In fact, I think this is good enough and a good close on the chapter of the storyline. Once and for all. Obviously, now I gotta do a lot of reworking for all my other stream series, thanks to this account-wide achievement bullshit. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, I'm not a, <laughs> I am not gonna say anything positive about it. In fact, I have my, <laughs> when I was in a better mood, I thought for a moment, <laughs> I, I thought that account-wide achievements could have been better. I thought, oh hey, I, as long as they don't remove it, I won't say, oh, nope, they removed that moment. Because you really did that with your care. Hey, you already did that with this character already. Ooh woo. Now you can't do this anymore with this other character. Oh, f go fuck yourself for that moment. Devs. <laughs> On, again, I'm just speaking from a point of being mad. Obviously, I still like the game. I think the devs did put a lot of work into the game. I'm just mad about what they did with account wide achievements. And I was so used to how the game was before it. I wish it was an opt-in and some things were handled better. I wish that... I, I already have my list, so let's go over what I have so far. All for a comic, by the way. So... Uh... Character... I, I didn't really get to the... Expansion, so holiday events. Um, nope. Crafting sh style should be character bound, character achievements, everything else. Everything else is fine. Fine. A uh, prologue. <sighs> As. Fuck with. What is it? Put duck. F fuck with the story itself. For alts itself. Doesn't matter to me. All right. Oh God. Ah oh dear. All right. So now it's kind of unfitting that I'm playing as an Ebonheart character. Wrapping up in a Dominion home, but you know what? I wanted to show off this home because this was a major player home that I worked on last week. Actually, this weekend, <laughs> I think, or yeah, last weekend, really. <laughs> I think on Easter or something. No, 
No, wait, when did I return this home? Ah, dear. Actually, I should say... April 17th, I worked on these, so... A few days ago. So, three days ago. I worked on these. Ah, dear. I'm glad the storyline's finally over. <laughs> ah, dear. Now I can start getting ready for the next major storyline, which is gonna be whatever I can do with Delves of Dragons. <laughs> oh god, it's gonna be a nightmare to do. Okay, look. Uh, moving forward with Elder Scrolls Online trying to survive Cyrodiil. It's possible to do that still. Obviously, all I gotta do is just do whatever I do in Cyrodiil or in the Imperial City, I can just do whatever, really. <laughs> but as it stands, I have my things I do want to say. I, I, really, I make it no secret I hate account-wide achievements. <laughs> It, it did ruin that beautiful moment that would have been perfect as a final wrap up for the storyline. But I. or the storyline. But I couldn't do it because of update 33. Or, hold on, what did they call it? On the PS4. Uh, I closed it for window, so give me a sec. Uh, update 33. Or. patch 2. 2.29 2.29 for my my version <sighs> now do I think everything about account wide achievements sucks obviously yeah I, I think how they handled it was pretty shitty <laughs> However, 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 look, you can handle account-wide achievements better in this game. There's obviously ways you can handle it better than how, how it actually was. Obviously, if this update or pat, the current update is kind of shitty in itself. Update 34, I hope will be good. Because you can choose your own title music, which is actually something really cool. Updates for Quartz Wheel, which I gotta use when I can before it's gone forever. <laughs> because knowing that this game, it doesn't fill me with determination. It doesn't. It doesn't bode well when I don't feel com happy about this. I've been playing this game a lot uh, recently. Honestly, if it wasn't for this pandemic and all, I wouldn't be so addicted to this game <laughs> as I am now. This is it's some sort of escape for me, really. <laughs> Since everything's crazy right now. <laughs> ah, dear. God. But despite what I say about update 33. Look, if you like a counter wide achievement, it's more power for you. But do note that I have my hatred for it. Especially when it comes to certain things. Now, honestly, if they decide, oh hey, we're gonna make crafting moths character bound too, account wide too, I wouldn't be so opposed. But I honestly, that'd also be. No, that just made everything worth worthless <laughs> so no I don't 
I think there shouldn't be a middle ground for that. Maybe don't track it with other characters. However, I will talk about it in the, com the comic. Although I think it will be like a multi-part comic. I, I don't know what I'm going to do for that comic, really. It'll be better in a better mood, obviously, since I'm a bit heated right now because I'm really pissed off that... Uh, what was that achievement I was trying to go for, but I couldn't because uh, that was ruined by... Update 33. Hold on. Markarth. Reach. Uh, where was the side... Uh, taking up the mantle. Uh, yeah, I'm pissed off because I couldn't do that. Cause it would have been like a beautiful little. Uh, kind of. I hope it would have been a little moment with the character, or maybe if the character doesn't spawn right away. Or I, I really hope it wasn't like immediately. But as it stands, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of how they handled it. I'm not a fan of update 33 in the slightest. Oh dear. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So let us. Anywho, I'm gonna try to close this on a more story based thing than a heated moment since all of a sudden I'm pissed off right now. Because everything I had planned got heated by Bethesda Cinemats. And Microsoft, really. <laughs> Just Cinemats. Cinemats slash Elder Bethesda is now owned by Microsoft, obviously. Ah, oh dear. So, this is the closing hours of the stream. The dark heart of Skyrim's storyline is finally over. Oh my goodness. After seven streams, I'm finally done. <laughs> and we started this journey back in March 1st. It, it took me way much. It took me way longer to finish. That's for sure. Obviously, because I had like health problems. I guess like I got sick. I got. I had some commitments I had to do. I had maybe some interest in other games. It took me a lot longer to do this, but here we are, finally done. <laughs> oh dear! Now I just have to think about how the other. Storylines are going. To, I'm gonna have to change it. Obviously, no longer the adventure achievements. Obviously, the zone story and whatever else I can do. Maybe I can change it from zone story to uh, all of these bar and one, all the point of interest bar and one for some zones. Apparently, some of this stuff is not account bound, <laughs> or but hey, whatever. I'd wish this was character bound and a, a character achievement, but hey, what can I do? This too, character bound? Uh, I'm not so pressed for that one. <sighs> uh. Oh dear, I'm so sleepy. <laughs> Anywho. Now let me talk about the wrap up for this, since this is at the end of Have Vile Star Cart. This is technically my first series stream for this game. Technically, first completed series stream. Will I do more? Obviously, yes. This was more of a tease, teaser of what's to come. Barring me getting angry about every change I have to do for just to appeal to the 
<laughs> the, the whole up this update 33 shit, but hey, what can I do? As long as I get to do guild stuff, as long as I get to do storylines, that's all I care about. As long as I get to do the storylines, that's all I want to do. Obviously, I have to finish, start the main quest line for the... Actually, now that I'm done with the storyline, I can do whatever I want to do with this character until the major skill stuff. Which, by the way, the next time you see this character... Uh, how am I a mage? Uh, how am I a mage is the entire ma major skill quest line in the base game for... So, which is like, what, five quests? Hopefully I don't have to do, like, all the zones in this game. If I do, then I'll... Good oh, goodness, I gotta do that. Oh, well, I'll do what I can. <sighs> um, I think when it comes to major storylines next for this game, I don't know what to say. Okay, so... Obviously, uh, the the main the base game storylines are going to take a lot longer because took me a while to do that as well. I will see. We'll see how long it takes me. So yeah, this is one of two storylines you'll see this character in. Uh, anything else would just either be related to what other series I plan on doing, whatever it is I plan on doing with this character, like. Trying to survive Cyrodiil, which or the player versus player series, uh, whatever it is, I can, I, I can come up with. Whatever I can come up with, that'll be this character storyline or a stream series. In terms of storylines, I have two planned, though I think I have three in total selected. Maybe I chose two because I knew this this would have taken a while, but I'm glad it's over. <laughs> it's over. Alright. Tomorrow is gonna be either Minecraft or something I'm actually into. Uh, is there anyone to raid? No, no, I'm not gonna raid anyone. I, I'm too. I don't think. Unless. Let me see. Uh. Who am I gonna, oh, oh! Never mind. I found someone to raid. <laughs> Alright, All right. so thank you for watching the stream. So, okay, before I do this, uh, I've mentioned this a few times. i actually been tweeting during the whole stream, so... Uh, first time ever. It's a mention for Twitter. I post artwork, screenshots, uh, whatever. I even post about the streams here and there. Uh, I... I'll talk about whatever really. Right now I'm just ranting about update 33 and account wide achievements. Uh, I, I, that's where I'm a, a lot of the majority of the, that's where all the announcements come to. Like, if I'm gonna cancel a stream, if I'm gonna go on hiatus for a little while, if I'm whatever, then I'll go there. Also, if you are following along on the YouTube channel, which by the way, exclamation point YouTube. Uh, I post all the highlight, the, uh, up, oh, I always post my VODs on the YouTube channel, I post the, whatever it is I come up with onto the YouTube channel, whatever. Uh, if you're watching this on the YouTube channel right now, actually, I'm so sorry about my rants, I, 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 I or just watching this off stream, or as a VOD, or something here on Twitch. I'm so sorry for my ranting. I j I'm just so passionate and I want to see this game do better. I swear. <laughs> ah, dear. Uh, tomorrow's stream will be... Depending on what I could do, either... Maybe a latest stream, because maybe I can get my hands on another game. Ah, that, that means I have to install it and think of titles and whatnot. Bah, whatever. I think I'll just do someone else. I'll either follow what I'm doing, or as part of Nostalgic Week, I will probably play Star Wars Battlefront 2. The, the 
Electronic Arts or EA's one. So I think it came out in 2017. The 2017 one, I think. I would love to stream the 2005 one, but it, it'll be awkward to stream, I think. Plus, my laptop is not exactly the best thing in the world. <sighs> oh, dear. Now, in terms of this game, I think what's going to come from this game uh, in the next few weeks, I I'm going to try to see if I can't finish a Devils and Dragons campaign. I'm going to try to start another one, try to finish that. Obviously, I gotta do something different for it. I'm gonna have to write this stuff down. Like, obviously, I have the old rules still, which the old rules still applied for the original series. This is like version two now. Any streams past update 33, that is version two. They're a lot slower to go through because obviously I have to go through every signal, every delve in the game, and get every sky shard. And that's the main requirement now. Sky shards. That's it. That's the only thing going for me now. Doves and Dragons is now just Sky Shard co Collection. Because apparently I already done did that. So, uh, let's see. Um, uh, this delve. Uh, apparently I already did. I think I already did that on stream before. So, I don't have to worry. Okay, so I believe I did this on the stream before the update, so I don't have to be that pissed off. Yeah, I did this on the stream before. So I'm not so worried. Uh, I did that on stream before, so I'm not worried about that. Obviously, now I have to make sure I have a list of every boss in this game. Every little thing, just so I at least say, Oh, hey, I cleared this dungeon finally which is kind of gonna be a lot harder now because now to go through every character if it has this series left not the series but Delve Central and you know what I'll save it for another time okay <sighs> anywho anywho as in terms of a dark heart of Skyrim and have violet star heart I have a feeling I transformed into a werewolf a fair few times this stream series Obviously, I completely ignored the die, the die roll, like the d20, d10, whatever I used to do for it. I completely ignored it. Uh, I... I, um... I did a lot for the series, I hope. And I had to improvise of what I could do because of this update. Because of the Ascending Tide update on PlayStation. On PC, and which is why I'm pissed off about update 33, I'm, I'm just using update 33 as a simple version. Obviously I'll have a comic done whenever I can finish the next comic. Which that comic is coming very soon, if you wanna. I, I should post the other comic about getting a job for me very soon as well. I have a lot of comments that I gotta work on. And honestly, I, I like working on comments, but I feel like it's slowing the process down for me working on any artwork. Like, because I'm dedicating the rest of my sketchbook for comments, I'm not gonna have a opportunity to work on my own drawings unless I start another book. And I have like four more pages left, so I don't really have to worry much, so. But. It has been delaying drawings, my artwork lately. Anywho, I think I'll start a comic uh, later today. Oh my goodness, I've been playing this game for seven hours. Ah, eh, nothing normal. I played this game for like longer in the past. <laughs> I streamed this game like for f 10 hours at one point, I think. And this, this stream is no different. This is probably the longest out of them all. 
Actually, let me confirm. Is this the longest Elder Scrolls Online stream I've done? Uh, let me see on my YouTube studio. Also, I, I'm wrapping up, so... I, I just gotta check. Oh, yes. The... Uh... Length? I wish I could look up by length. Uh... Not views, I'm trying to look through length. Uh... I have no idea how to look up through length. Actually, wait, I have a playlist. Okay, have filed start heart. Have filed start heart. Have filed start heart. Now, where is that? I have to update the curse of Chef Club. Uh, I have the entire playlist for another series coming very soon. Do I not have it on the channel? Uh, I have it somewhere. It should be like six to five videos. Or maybe I just didn't upgrade it. Update it. Uh. <laughs> maybe. Oh, I didn't update it. Okay. Do I have Have I Old Star Card 5? Okay, so. Okay, five. Yeah, I have all of them, so I just haven't added the other two streams to the playlist yet. Okay, so I gotta deal with that, deal with that later, and to confirm, this is the longest out of them all. <laughs> out of all the half file Dark Heart streams I've done, the longest ones were the first one, at se almost seven hours, uh, six hours and... 38 minutes for chapter 6 and that's it this is the longest of them all <laughs> obviously I'm not going to do like an epilogue I'm done the series is done I'm putting a close to this book once and for all and in fact I'm going to put prove it by taking a screenshot of this moment so gotta hold it down for like a few seconds. There we go. That should be the sign that I'm done. <laughs> I'll probably come up with some sort of thumbnail process. Maybe I'll draw like images of this character's werewolf form or something. Yeah. Sorry that I got it so heated, but obviously update 33 does piss me off. About that. Anywho, thank you for joining me f through Have Vile Star Heart, or really, it's mainly named after the whole The Dark Heart of Skyrim storyline. So, Greymoor, or Western Skyrim. Actually, there's like a huge list of the storyline, so. Now, thank you for joining me through the fourth main story arc of Elder Scrolls Online, actually. Which, by the way, this is the storyline I just finished is the fourth storyline of this game. Apparently. <laughs> so, by the way... The next major storyline I will probably do is none. I'll probably do my own for a little while. In fact, I want to try to finish Delves and Dragons before summertime. Or maybe during summertime as well. So join me for summertime, probably. Which, by the way, I'll talk more about it over time, but summertime is going to be a lot more delayed. Like, I, I, it'll probably be a lot more, like, weekend streams, which is going to be a lot tougher. It'll probably be, like, shorter streams, like, instead of, like, these seven-hour monsters. It'll probably be a few hours each. Etc., etc. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, so chapter four is about to go up. On my sits. Okay. Anywho, I, I'm done. I'm done. Do, everyone says that the storyline kind of sucks. Which, hold on. Let me actually see. Do, is that an opinion? The worst ESO storyline. Alright, so... Okay, so... This is what I can see. Bottom, definitely Dark Tower Skyrim. Okay, so... Dark Tower Skyrim for someone. Uh, apparently someone say this is a decent storyline, so... Yeah, so a lot of people say that this kind of sucks. Some say it was like the best one. <laughs> yeah, the, a lot of people say the Greymore part sucks the most. But I'll leave it up to you. Do you think this sucked? Actually, you know what? I'm gonna create a quick little Twitter poll. Which, by the way, the link is there in the chat, so if you wanna vote on the poll, go ahead. It'll be up for a week, hopefully. Uh, opinion poll. Poll if you see this. Uh, if you've played the Dark Heart of Skyrim's storyline, what did you think of it? I'm gonna have four options. I wish I can do more. Uh, Great. I'm going to put it as It's great It's okay It's meh Or It's bad Or it's bad This will be up for 7 days, by the way This poll will be up for 7 days If you want to vote for it, it's on my Twitter Okay, the poll's up on my Twitter if you want to vote for that, if you've played this expansion, or... I, I just want a consensus about how what people think about this expansion. Well, not this expansion I'm in, but the expansion I did. <laughs> the entirety of the Dark Heart of Skyrim storyline. That's done. <laughs> okay, now I actually gotta properly la wrap up it in a few minutes. <laughs> Okay, so tomorrow's stream. Uh, actually. Alright. Okay, so I gotta start falling asleep. <laughs> uh, not really, I'm not that exhausted. Actually, hold on, let me grab a link. Obviously, the poll will probably be done by on. Do the poll will be done on Twitter once this video is up on the YouTube channel, but here's the poll if you want to vote for it. If you've experienced it, if you what, whatever you think about the story, feel free to vote. It's whatever. <sighs> Honestly, in my op I, I'm going to give my th overall, overall, my entire thoughts about the series in the description, but here's what I can say safely. I think at parts it was pretty good, but I think most of it could... I think some of it was good, I just wished I could experience more. But it always it feels like this expansion was the start of a whole Dungeons Chapter Dungeon DLC formula. Or maybe that was the Season of the Dragons. If it was Season of the Dragons, obviously I rank it immediately as it's not good. 
Because obviously it leaves a gap in the story. A huge gap, like... Like an introduction to a storyline, it just feels like it's missing some holes. But I feel like that's... Let me think. Excuse me, drag... Oh, dragons. Oh, we'll see, we'll see. Uh. Alright, so I have a poll up on Twitter if you want to fault if you want to vote for that. Anywho, for real this time. Okay, let me give my opinion real quick before I wrap up and start rating. I honestly thought the Dark Heart Skyrim was... It, it was meh. Like, it had its moments where it's like, oh, this is all pretty cool, but... Like, I thought for a moment that the Dark Heart of Skyrim would have continued longer. Pat. It would have gone into next year as well. So, we have to do an entire storyline where we have to fight Rada Asaran. I'm bad at his name, sorry. No, no, it was like an epilogue for that character. Like, in this storyline. In the Reach's storyline. It was a whole epilogue about that. <sighs> Which I thought was pretty cool. I'm glad it's over. <laughs> I am very glad it's over. Now I can focus on other storylines. Like what I've, what I'm going to do next. <laughs> Which by the way, uh no bonus little things for this game. I'm done. Okay. Uh mark that down. All right, so Half Violet Dark Heart is complete. <sighs> Which by the way, on the YouTube descriptions for every one of these stream archives, I am going to put the uh, completion date. So, like, from the start date to completion date, I'll put it all in the description of each of the video archives on the YouTube channel. Just so you know. Like, just in case everyone needs to know what I've done. So, as always, I, as I'm going to wrap up, thank you for watching the Dark Heart uh, of Skyrim storyline, or... Have Vile Dark Heart. She doesn't really have a Dark Heart. She's just a werewolf. She's a uh, werewolf. I whatever hero-based class you can think of, Dragon Knight or whatever. I I, I don't really put other class logic because maybe a tank or whatever. I don't know. A battle mage, really. I think she's a battle mage since she has like. Well, it's not really much of a battle mage when she has a 200 weapon here and a staff here. But I feel like it's a battle mage in some regard. But yeah. Thank you. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so, tomorrow's going to be a different change of pace. Tomorrow's game will be either... An action game, which will be what I said, Stars Battlefront 2, EA's version, or Minecraft. Just because, why not? Actually, hold on, where's my journal? I'll mark it down later. So, let me raid someone real quick. I already know who I'm gonna raid. If, if I'll pick it up. If not, it's just gonna pass it on over there. Because. This is like post. Subathon. For them. Gordy Cam, I've been interactive with a lot more lately. Ah, okay, here we go. We're gonna go on over there. Alright. So, from the bottom of. I, I guess I'm gonna say my dark heart. Have Vile's dark heart. Thank you for watching the stream. Thank you for watching the archives on the YouTube channel. And thank you for watching the VODs on the YouTube. The VODs on the YouTube and on Twitch. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I, I get to wrap up. Okay, so let me try that again. Thank you for watching the stream here on Twitch. Thank you for watching the VOD here on Twitch while it's still here on Twitch. And thank you for watching the archive VOD on the YouTube channel when it, it's eventually up. Okay, how hard is it for me to remember that? Very hard, actually. <laughs>
<laughs> Apparently. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Probably the same time, most likely, because I'm going to be streaming tomorrow. Probably. Maybe I'll take tomorrow off, actually. Long streamer and all that fun stuff. Definitely shorter. Anywho. I'll, 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 I'll be back at whatever time. I'll be live at 11 or 3, whatever time I decide to start streaming. I have a weird stream schedule, okay? Okay. I'll see you when I'm live. Okay, goodbye. Bye, 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 bye. Right now and stop the stream.